Good Tuesday evening, viewers from coast to coast in Canada and anywhere in the world you might be tuning in today. We're broadcasting live from the Remax St. John's Curling Club Centre here in St. John's, Newfoundland. And you're going to be watching draw number two of the Newfoundland Men's Provincials Curling Championships. I'm Rob Thomas and I'm thrilled tonight to be joined in the booth with uh, countless NL ladies rep, uh, Laura Strong. Laura will be watching Andrew Simmons versus Greg Smith tonight and uh, most would think that these two teams will be in this mix late into the tournament so even though it's early this is a big game absolutely yeah these are definitely two of the front runners so we got um we as we started there now so greg smith did, does have last rock here and this is the first end and uh as per normal he put up, up one on the center line and uh, you could see uh Smith, uh, sorry, Simmons put on the, the line and Simmons, uh, Smith came right around it perfectly. So I expect to see a lot of great shots tonight and uh, and this could go right to the end. Just watch him. We haven't seen much of the ice yet because it's fairly new, but it looks like it's got a, a nice curl there and Alex Smith sets it down beautifully right there. So we've got two Smiths on the ice, which always makes it easy on the commentators. Not <laughs> yeah, really, right. but anyway, yes. Alex well, Smith is... at least is... one's a lead and one's Exactly. Skip, yeah. yeah, he's the lead for um, Team Simmons, and of course, Greg Smith's the skip of his own team. Okay, well, let's take two seconds now and just to uh, introduce the, the two teams. <clears throat> so for um, throwing now, it's for the uh, Greg Smith team. Um, that's Zach Shirtliff. Now, that's a name we haven't heard in Newfoundland. He's... Uh, He's the import for Smith, and he's actually from Hamilton, Ontario. So he'll be throwing lead, and as you can see, it looks like it's going to be... Oh, he just ticks off. Not exactly what he wanted. Second stone uh, is Zach Young for Greg Smith. Chris Ford throws third, and uh, Greg, of course, uh, two or three-time Newfoundland champion now, um, throws skip rocks. On the other side, throwing right now. <clears throat> um, so Alex Smith threw the lead rocks. But this is Stephen Trickett throwing second. Colin Thomas is uh, Andrew's third, and Andrew Simmons, of course, throwing skip rocks. So both teams throwing in, let's call it the traditional order. So Simmons now asking uh, second to play the hit and roll in. It's coming by the guard nicely. It looks like it might be a little bit inside. Touch and rolls over. Uh, so right now, yellow lion one, but uh, blue is the second and third. Rob, you mentioned Greg has a, been a, a few-time representative of Newfoundland. Uh, his first briar, I happen to know, was in Regina. I lived there at the time, and uh, that's when the crowd absolutely fa fell in love with him. I think right. he was on the front page of the, yeah. the paper a couple yeah, times, right. and uh, definitely a crowd favorite, so I'm sure he wants nothing more than to get back to that particular stadium. Yeah, oh, for sure. Oh, that's the same same place this year? Oh, nice. So, I mean, here we go. This is uh, uh, Smith being Smith here. I mean, he could easily have gone to the other side and, and probably tried to move those blues, but he's happy to send one in there now. He's trying to come down and play the, like, in, into the hole there and play the freeze. Looks like it's a really nice weight. The sweeper's just guiding it. Oh, and he stops very nicely in front of those two. Uh, this is uh, already the very first end. This is already <laughs> going to get messy. Of course, we never know how many viewers we have that know the game really well and how many are kind of just tuning in because they're relatives of the players. And... Very true, and we'll try to keep that in mind as yeah. we go through and try to help out. So I'm, I'm sure what... Uh, what Andrew's doing now with uh, his second is he's going to clear the top and probably try to drive it straight back in. But uh, it's hanging there for a second. Looks close there now. Throws it in. Makes a bit of movement there, but uh, not exactly what he wanted. Not sure what happened there. Did uh, <clears throat> I guess Andrew Simmons must have touched it when he was sweeping. And so that's up to the other team now to uh, to put it where they they think it would have would have landed. No no harm there. Not many sports where you can kind of just nod to each other and agree on where the rocks should end up. <laughs> the, no, and yeah, we we won't get political, but we still shake hands <laughs> before right. and after the game. 
And uh, so here's uh, Zach Young throwing now. He's going to try to get a third rock in there, and and this could uh, could put the squeeze on Andrew Early here if uh, if Greg gets this one right in where he's where his broomhead is now. Call it up front. It's got really, really nice movement on the ice there. Uh, kudos to uh, Harold Walters and his team. We'll make this ice. This is uh, looks like it's going to be really good ice this week for these teams. So that's almost exactly where Greg wanted it. So it is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's doing him a whole lot of favors, though. To be honest. Okay. Yeah. I and feel like it's uh, another center guard. It's you know top twelve. If Andrew gets a chance to run that blue into the pile there, that uh, that yellow is almost just in the way. It's uh, l looking at it from here. I mean, if he does run that in perfectly, he can move a lot of rocks around. This is Colin Thomas's first rock here in the first end. Oh, it looks like they've lost that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, had them called off really early. So now, uh, uh, now Greg will have a, a choice to make here. He can he could hit the blue one that's there, but he he's opted to guard them up, guard up his own three rocks, and figures uh, if he can get a two in the first, that would be a a big jump. Yeah, and that blue into the two yellows, it's not a great angle. I'm getting to see it a little better there now. It's uh, There's no way he'd he'd get rid of both of them and stay anywhere dangerous. So, uh, as I said, some people that, you know, that probably don't know the game that much, and we're confusing them more now because the guy with last rock is throwing up center guards, which is not normally what you'd see, but they like to try to play to the outsides. But... Uh, so far this end, they've made every shot. So there's a lot of a lot of yellow in play here, and uh, and yellow has last rock. So big end here. Uh, Andrew's going to want to do something here now. It's Collins' second rock. It's getting late in the end. Okay, here he's going to try to run that. Uh, you can't see it. It's right all everything's in behind. Uh, behind Andrew there, but <clears throat> he's going to try to run the front one into the three that are in the house. He can move a lot of granite if he hits it perfect. Yeah, the angles are definitely lined up for everything to go, I think. For three, for sure, yeah. Now we'll see. I mean, Colin is no, no, no problem throwing the big weight. What it is now, it's all about line. It looks like it's coming up fairly close. Gets the one, two. Well, he got a lot moving there. Yeah. That's a great shot. He's uh, he's moved three of the yellows out and and opened up the center line. And with with Greg with <clears throat> last rock, but if he tries to guard this, well, then 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 Simmons can come right down. So he may have gotten out of the end with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is uh, Chris Ford's. Second shot now looking at a little bit of a different looking house and he's gonna to try to draw around that blue guard that's up there and uh, try to get in for a two. Now I heard him call him on right away as if he was inside. We'll find out now how much this is gonna curl. No, oh, this, yeah, this is not breaking off like I thought it might. And you'll hear Greg, he put up his hand asking for a five. Of course, the famous Furby Foursome came up with that idea that to sort of divide the hog line to the end line into five different, uh, can't say quadrants because that's four, but five <laughs> different sections. Um, the first three being outside the rings, and then um, so one, two, three, and then four would be a top 12 rock, and then five would be a top eight rock. Six would be the top four, the top red circle, and then seven would be dead on, on the T line, and then eight, nine, and ten. And uh, you can see that that's, uh, if you're really technical, it's a four and a half, but he's right exactly where he wanted to be with that uh, with that rock. Yeah. So Simmons, first rock here in the first end, uh, got a chance, I think, if it uh, looks like there's just enough air, he's probably playing something something soft here, uh, so it would say hack weight. In other words, he'd throw the weight that would be just through the house. And if he does it perfect, he may be able to get a little tiny roll inside. 
will play in the 2024 Montana Trotter. Brand Center and John Shackman. So it's a new sheet of ice for these guys, so they're not totally sure how much is going to break off, but you can see he's really close to close to the right line, waiting for it to curl a bit. Very oh, nice. This is a brilliant shot by Simmons. That's the way to start a game. Look at the roll. So that uh, all of a sudden now, Smith is, is going to be battling hard to get a, a one or a two, whereas uh, early in the end, it looked like he was going to be putting a two or three up. So great shot there by Andrew Simmons, uh, his first rock in this game, to uh, to bury one in behind. So I think Greg is calling just to corner freeze it. And yeah, so if he gets a corner on there, he'll be shot rock. How quickly momentum can swing, hey? One big shot. Alex Smith would look like he was in a world of hurt, and uh, now Greg's trying his best to, to score, really. Yeah. He's trying for two, but he'll probably be lucky to score. Yeah. And I did say that they were throwing everything. Everything is being thrown in uh, in order, but Alex Smith, who throws the lead rocks for Andrew Simmons, is actually holding the broom for Andrew's shots, which is totally legal, and that puts uh, Colin Thomas on the broom. So it's just a, a case of who can sweep harder. So this is really close here as it comes over the hog. He's got to get by that yellow. That's the first thing. Let's see if he gets, oh, he ticks a little and, and rolls up the front. So now, now Simmons gets a chance to play almost the exact same rock, but he's got to be careful. Does he ever guard this, Laura? I I wouldn't because Greg's got the blue yellow run for two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if if uh, Simmons makes this shot, he could easily get a steal or two. Yep, no doubt. And uh, I mean, uh, he just threw it. That's always an yeah. advantage. You love to throw the same shot twice. The only danger here would be to get outside, and uh, you know tap him into the your own rock and, and give up a three, that would be disaster, obviously. But uh, I think he's comfortable with the ice. He'll probably throw the exact same weight that he just threw. He's got two powerful sweepers that can, you know, they can they keep it straight or move it a little bit for him. So we'll see now, as you see on the left side of your screen, Andrew sliding out. Some sweepers are off, but don't think it's going to hurt them any. Now they're starting to dig in, and they're digging in on the straight side. So, yeah, this one's moving. Little, little weaker rotation, I think. Yeah, but he hits, and does he stay for second? So, get out of the way, Alex. Oh, yeah, easily stays for second. Yeah. When I say weaker rotation, I'm talking about the release. So I think the typical number of revolutions between hog to hog is you're looking for two and a half to three. And it, it just looked to me like his was a, a slower revolution. Uh, that's not really something that the line caller can pick up on from the far end. So it's sort of on the on the sweepers to point that out if they happen to see it themselves. Or the, the thrower themselves will say, I was a little soft on that or something like that. And, and the, <clears throat> the general idea is... A weaker handle probably will curl more than somebody that's got a lot of rotation. We know that because I don't have a lot of rotation, and my teammate Ross <laughs> throws a lot of rotation. So it's up to Glenn Goss to try to uh, to make the difference in the broom. So here it is, uh, Greg Smith, a big hard draw in the first end against two. So he's got to get to the tee line. Sweepers are on and off, which is always a good sign. No problems for line. If he comes up to the blue, he, he might have to move it. They all seem happy. And he does touch the blue and lands on the one foot or the button for his one point. Well, that's a whole lot of action there in the first end for sure. So uh, we started off with a, a great start here, and uh, we're going to take 30 seconds now and adjust the scores, and uh, we'll be right back.
All right, we are back as we watch the uh, exciting first end where uh, Greg Smith scored one uh, with a great draw to the, uh, the to the button for his one. And uh, we are live at the St. John's Kearney Club Remax Centre. This is the men's 2023 Provincials and the winner of this, of course, goes to the, very weird to say, Montana's Briar. Of course, Montana's restaurants have taken over now for uh, the main sponsor over Tim Hortons for the Briar. So that'll be March the 1st in Regina, Saskatchewan. So uh, as most people know, or the curlers, that uh, Brad Guju is uh, probably, well, Newfoundland's number one team, arguably one of the best in the world. But uh, he's already in because he won last year and he has Team Canada, which opens up a spot for the Newfoundland team uh, Thus, this nine-team round robin is going to be a fierce competition to be the other team at the Briar this year. And a great start on this game, uh, one to nothing now, as uh, um, Smith called his first rock. I think Laurie called it in, knowing that uh, that Andrew Simmons would probably put up a corner guard. Then Smith uh, threw up his uh, his his guard. So now we're down to uh, we're into second shots now, and Zach Young. Yeah, and just speaking about the upcoming Briar, um, thank you to our producer, Trevor, for uh, reminding us that it is now the year 2024. Oh, it is. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll mark that down. Yeah. <laughs> January, yes. Yeah. I was with you. Yeah, that's right. I, hopefully everybody was. 2024. <laughs> I'm surprised, Rob, that uh, that Greg called that rock in. Being an offensive team like he is, uh, I fully expected a center guard to go up. Yeah, we, uh, well, now we as seniors, um, our team usually puts the, once once we're ahead, we'll put the first one in anticipating them to put up a corner, just find it easier to guard one that's already in the house. But no, I mean, the men's teams usually very aggressively put their first one within inches of the, uh, of the house right on the center line when they want to steal. But... Uh, so it's, uh, you know, now now Andrew got his corner guard up, but now he has to get a chance to use it. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I mean, curling's all a, a game of decisions, and, and, and with my ladies' team, we would do the same, but we'd want our two-point lead before we'd go into the right. house. Right, Because yep. you technically don't really need more points if you've got the two-point yep. lead. If you've just gotten the one, you were basically forced, and you're not real happy, so you want to get that other extra point back in, yep. from my point of view. So a nice shot there from uh, Steve Trickett as he uh, took it out. He stayed right there. Um, so, I mean, this is, a, you could argue, a good end f for either side here because, unfortunately for Simmons, the second shot or the shot rock is behind the tee line, and that can only help uh, Greg Smith in the long run. So there's Zach. Now we'll see. It looks like it's starting to curl. Sweeping hard to keep it straight. Sneaking by the guard, I guess he's trying to get a little roll inside. Made it nice, great shot there yeah, for nice. uh, Zach Young. So I think Andrew would <clears throat> happy to take this yellow, and for a little while, I think he's happy to see that other yellow behind his blue, and he probably won't try to remove that. Stephen Trickett, second shot. Colin Thomas saying that he's got a lot of weight. He was only calling for very lightweight. Now you'll see Colin trying to help the rock curl a bit. He's doing it. Got it. It doesn't look like he's going to stay. Greg will take that out. Important shot. He'd like to have stayed on that uh, for his second point. Now it gives a chance for uh, Greg to come around and, and get right on top of that and set up his steel. And there's two things with Stephen being uh, heavy there. Not only will it not curl when you're heavy, but it also hits the rock harder and then has a lesser chance of sticking around. So that's exactly what happened. He rolled out. If you'd hit that it, the rock in exactly the same spot with lower weight, um, the the shooter would have hung on in the rings there. Stayed over on the right and, and then caused... Uh, Cause Greg some problems. Okay, so now we've got, uh, looks like this is Chris Ford's first rock here. And uh, trying to come down and just freeze that one that's in the house. 
Oh, they're working it hard now. Probably for line, it seems to have good weight. Losing a bit of line on it. <clears throat> okay, so not what he wanted, but one thing he is doing is he's he's cutting down the rings for uh, for Andrew Simmons to try to score too. What are the options they're looking at there, Laura? I mean, what? is he saying he could just freeze it? I don't know if there's enough there to bring the weight down and, and tap it out. So I think they're playing a corner freeze on it. Yeah. I, corner freeze on their own blue is an option or corner freeze on the... Um, on the, on the top, top yellow. yellow. That's what he was I think at the top now. yellow makes the most sense, yeah. yeah. That's where he put his broom. And some people might say, well, why would you go there when you can be shot? But it's a bit yeah. early to try and be shot, and it gives uh, gives that many more rocks for <laughs> Greg Smith to try and whack away and get rid of them. Yeah, for the uh, the you know the, the people that watch a lot of a lot of Briars and a lot of Scots, it's, it's Scotties. It, it really truly is a game of chess on ice, and you have to anticipate the moves that the, that they're going to make. Now, it looks like Colin curled way too much on that, and I don't think he's going to like where that one ended because now that uh, anything that touches that blue comes back on, uh, the yellow comes back on, on their own blue. So that was a little over curl on that. It had great weight. It was right on. Chris Ford, second rock here in the second end. Greg Smith up one to nothing here in this second round action. Okay, he's throwing a bit of weight at this, Laura. It looks like he's trying to move it. Which makes sense. Oh, it's going to be really close to that guard. I don't know if he'll get by trying to sweep it, keep it straight, but uh, no. Okay, he's going to touch the guard now. <laughs> That's the first rock we've seen in that spot, isn't it? It, it, it is, yeah. Everything has come down the other way. So <clears throat> so that'll both skips make a mental note that that side probably curls a little more. This is an interesting call. Um, <clears throat> okay, Colin, you can see Colin's going to make a quick run down. If he's going to hit this, he's going to want to know exactly where to hit it and exactly what's going to happen to that uh, if uh, Andrew would just get on the way for us. <laughs> but uh, it looks to me like that blue-yellow comes right back on the uh, on, on their own blue and, and stays there. Yeah, I feel like Colin is more talking his skip out of the call than he is trying to see where to exactly hit yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, uh, there's just not enough room uh, for the advanced curlers. There's not, not, not enough room there for the drag to uh, to work that past. So, uh, a lot of discussion. We're we're looking down on it. I can't quite see what the the two shots are. Okay, so yeah, we got. Uh, if, if he if he really gets a uh, on on the left hand side, it may pass it, but I don't think it'll pass it. I just no. stood up to get a better look. Okay. Um, but I think it will kind of scatter. Yeah, move so it, it around. So it won't dead yep. jam, and that's yep. not necessarily a bad thing to have a nice little pocket behind. Yep. Just, uh, you don't wanna you don't wanna leave. You don't want to leave Greg Smith with one right on the button and uh, and a chance to guard it for a second one. Okay, he seems to think that if he hits it right. Uh, nope, I, I'm <clears throat> I'm a little miffed. Um, and with this ice, Colin's going to throw a lot of weight. Yeah, they think that yellow is going to go sideways. I, I guess, yeah. So. We won't get into what the drag effect is, but if he hits everything, what what he can see, he probably could move four rocks here. He doesn't want to hit it too full. Comes over here, going to touch it. 
it does move it fast. It's a great shot. Yeah. That's a really good eye there for uh, for Simmons to see see how that drag would work. That's that's great. Yeah. That's why we are sitting behind the glass. <laughs> that's right. That's a great shot, and now you got Craig is probably going to try the double. I, again, I didn't see the call, but yeah, you can see now that Chris is lining it up to make the double and just roll a little bit to the right-hand side as you're looking at it. But, I mean, there's been a couple of great shots. Colin made a great shot in the last end, and uh, that was that was just a super shot there. Greg Smith. Let it go. Now they're going to start to work it hard, and they got to keep the line there. I don't know if they're going to be. They'll get by the guard, but I'm not sure if there'll be a double there now. Nope, oh, just hit it on the nose. Um, chance there now. So Andrew's got a couple of choices again. He could uh, come in, as Alex is saying, just draw right there. And I think I think Andrew's more looking at a little hit and roll in. But again, it got to be so exact. Now I'll tell you, one, one thing we can't see, Laura, is, is that you know these games are timed, uh, as as are all the co competitive games. This has been a long end yeah. for An Andrew Simmons. That's true. Okay, so he's decided by the looks of it he's going to make the draw. Down to lie two, and if he can just want to get a little corner in behind Greg's yellow so that he can't uh, drive it straight back on that blue. So another exacting shot here for uh, for Simmons if he ever does get it in that uh, n number five or six and, and gets a little corner behind that yellow, he'll be in great shape for a two. Yeah, this is absolutely the right call. If he'd hit and flopped off that yellow, first of all, it's tough. Second of yeah. all, like you said, you can jam it in on yeah, your own. Be really, but yeah. even if he made what he called, um, Greg would just be able to sit right on that, Still right on the pin there, and yeah. Andrew wouldn't even have a shot. So I'm not yeah. sure why they wasted a few seconds looking yeah. at that. <laughs> yeah, no, and the danger is, I mean, if if, if he gives Greg the, the, you know, the freeze on that back one, well, Greg is going to make it. Now, they let it go, and I saw the sweepers jump right on it as if they, they thought it was a little bit late. Um, off and on now, but it still looks to me like it needs a it does. good bit of sweeping for, uh, for weight. That. Now you got to be, <clears throat> if it comes to the guard, going to touch the guard. So just down on his weight and uh, curled a bit early. So now Greg gets a chance to... Uh, make that little tap tap and uh, then it's going to be hard for Andrew to score so with that ice Laura this is obviously just draw weight I, I would have thought he could get to that with hit weight and be lying too but probably sees more of an advantage to just tap it up and be half guarded, I guess. Yeah, I think when Andrew uh, just kind of nudged that guard over, it took away the the simple uh, hit weight run. Okay. It's got to be a bit more delicate here and just uh, promote the yellow to the button. All right, Greg Smith, last rock here in the second end for him. Um, Andrew Simmons has the last shot. So they're working hard for, for a line. They've got to get it on the outside of the rock. This looks like it's curling a lot. His first thing he's got to do is get by the guard. He's by, but their line now is, is not not great. So it's going to give uh, Simmons a fairly easy, gentle hit. And I don't even know if he has to roll. He may have to roll a little bit to the center line to get his two. Oh. Uh, they're not sure if they just knows it, if they'll be if, second. If they know, I think yeah. they got to roll an inch to the center. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, but they're just taking altogether too mm -hmm. much time here to 
for a shot that's yeah hmm. I'm does this look like he's drawn to you I think he's just drawn to the between those two yellow yeah I mean Greg's Greg's shot would have ended up where top top eight it curled really hard it curled hard yeah so I don't know but he is calling a bit of a chip off yeah well yeah he, he could play the draw and if yeah. it touches the yellow it's okay exactly okay. yeah yeah like said uh, for, for for me I would have had that that, that hit thrown and missed by now for sure <laughs> yeah. yeah but uh well he certainly has his uh, well he had his draw weight going down of course he was a bit short there so this will be an interesting challenge to him to make sure that he has the right weight. Now they got to be careful here that it doesn't curl too much on him. I don't think this is going to be anywhere no. near getting around. I've given up on it. I don't think it's going to be any damage. I uh, don't think he quite had the weight to get to the forefoot again there, Laura. No, and I think it's a bit of chicken and the egg, you know. Sometimes if you're short, it'll overcurl, and sometimes if it yeah. starts curling early, then you're going to be short. Here, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's true. So that's uh, that's a single there. So a little little missed opportunity there for uh, Simmons, as he uh, doesn't make that draw, but he gets us one point and ties the game up. It's one to one now after two ends. We're going to take uh, thirty seconds and uh, adjust the score, and we'll be right back with end number three. Hi, hey, welcome back uh, again. We are uh, <clears throat> broadcasting live from St. John's, Newfoundland in the uh, 2024 Provincials. Uh, for the, the winner goes to the Briar, of course, and uh, got a good game going here. It's a one-to-one -one after two with uh, Greg Smith and Andrew Simmons. There are three other sheets uh, that are on the go, <clears throat> and uh, we'll try to keep you up to date as much as we can. The, uh, the other game that's being streamed is actually Dylan H Hancock and Nathan Young. 
And we see that Nathan scored two in the first, but Dylan Hancock back with a big three in the second. So Hancock right now up three to two after two ends. Uh, on sheet five, uh, we have Ryan McNeil Lambswood and Trent Skeins. And it looks like uh, Lambswood has uh, taken one and then stole one. So he is up two to nothing after two. And on the last sheet, uh, Dave Thomas from Porta Basque is. Uh, playing Harold Walters from here in town, and uh, Harold is up 2 to nothing after two ends. So we'll get back to this game. Laura, how does this one start up? Um, it started more how I would expect, which was with Andrew Simmons calling the center guard. As I said, if you're forced to one, you're not real happy. You want to get that second point back. Uh, so he called a short guard. Um, Greg Smith came around, I would say, a, about a foot shorter than he wanted. Um, and then uh, Alex Smith uh, froze to that rock. So that's where we're at now. Uh, Smith's team talked a, a little bit about where they wanted to put this next one, whether they go to the open side, whether they corner freeze that top blue, and they decided actually this is what they wanted, the back eight, and still remain second shot. I think he has slipped a little too deep, though, and so uh, it would be yellow would be third shot. Okay, so we got another messy center line started here as uh, a lot of these competitive teams like to play to, to the center like this uh, until something happens and they make a big shot. So it's uh, a little little note about um, Andrew and his team. Andrew uh, Simmons, at the beginning, the first spiel of the year here is a uh, is a dedication spiel or a memorial spiel to uh, a, a fallen comrade, Rick uh, Rousel. The Rick Rousel uh, classic is on here. And actually, remember that uh, Andrew Simmons made a fantastic shot in the last end uh, to win that. To, to start the air off, but uh, I don't know if he's downstairs or not, but my buddy, buddy uh, Keith uh, Rusty Jewer was playing in that spiel, but unfortunately took a tumble and uh, did some shoulder damage, and that is why, I mean, uh, Keith has been uh, Simmons' longtime lead, but uh, couldn't play this week, and uh, that's why you're seeing Alex Smith uh, sparing in for these guys, or, well, he's the, 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 the full team member now. So that was uh, that's how they started their year, and he's hoping that they can finish it off with a big win. So you see, uh, Simmons came. Uh, I guess he came a little deep too, did he? When he yes, yeah. And so now it's a chance for Smith to get down on top of it. Yeah, it looks like it's coasting though. Yeah, it's moving a bit fast and going to chip off the blue and rolls back for fourth shot so a lot of rocks in play now and Simmons who is trying to steal he doesn't have last rock so he wants to get around that and uh, try to get right down on top of that uh, the, the back blue anything around those two that you can see there now on the the top white or the eight foot so this is uh Second, uh, the second shot for Stephen Trickett. Just threw it, so he knows exactly what the weight should be. It's all about line. Off and on, good sign. You see Stephen's revolutions. I think this is number four. Okay, yeah. Now. And that will that really helps to keep it going. And oh, it does. I don't know, but he hit the back of that rock. That was really too bad. He was... He was really close to being perfect on that. It's still not bad. It's... Uh, we can see this, and you can't, because we're there. You go. He's still half uh, half covered, but uh, now this is a chance for a uh, a run back here for Smith. Try to get it right on the the nose of that top one. Move the yellow and the blue, and there shouldn't be very much up front. I think he'll roll off to the side a little bit if he makes this perfect. This is Zach Young. He oh, immediately called off. Wanted to curl. Coming. Oh, well, that's a great shot. It is, yeah. Opens great everything shot. up. Opens it up. Uh, probably didn't roll the, the center yellow as far as he would have liked to. But uh, Simmons still lie in one and two. And then Smith is uh, three and four. So you know, Simmons got to be careful. He can't, uh, he can't let those two in the back come back to haunt him, the two yellows. And this will be interesting to me. I'm not sure about uh, Colin's rotation, but like I pointed out, uh, Stephen's rotation was 
pretty high, so it held the line pretty good. If Collins is any weaker, I expect this to curl quickly because this is the side of the sheet that we said seems to dive. We did seem, yeah, that's right. So they're off and on. This this call, of course, is a guard. He wants to stay just outside of the rings. And uh, you see Alex working it a little bit now, and that uh, will help it curl. Oh, it's a great weight. So well guarded there by Colin. <clears throat> so we've either got similar rotation, or Andrew is uh, quite like your skip, well versed at uh, well adjusting the broom for different releases. Uh, that's right, yeah. Now this is interesting. Okay, so Greg is going to call. Uh, he's going to call his yellow one, uh, and he's got two or three options. He's uh, he could, if he's a little outside, he can take that right there as he just showed, and take the two guards, even tick off and come into there. But his his number one goal is to try to get that through the hole, and into the uh, the blue shot rock. This exacting shot here for. Uh, Chris Ford. Lots of good options here. It's kind of hard to really hurt yourself. You're already in pain. I mean, it's hard to yeah, hurt yourself yeah, more. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah there's a, uh, <clears throat> I kind of like, if he did tick the first blue and, and, and then direct it into the uh, the one on the top eight. So we'll see, uh, we'll see plenty of weight from Ford here. I don't expect this to be anything soft and Lots of options. So the first call is off. Still needs to curl a bit. Calling it for straight now. Gonna get it through and oh, nicely done. Gonna roll a bit too far. Too so, bad. That was nice. nice yeah, that was. Uh, it was. It was a great. Uh, it's a great effort. And he certainly did get rid of that dangerous rock that was there. But um, so as we look at it now, it looks like. Blue is still lying to. Yeah. Yeah. The one in the back would be shot rock, but the one up on the top, top of the eight foot, is second shot. I think, Laura. That yellow, the back yellow. Mm, yeah. Hard to tell. Hard to tell without the overhead. Yeah. I'm changing my mind, actually. I think. Uh, I think I'm not going might, there. Yeah, I think blue might be only lying the one. So, okay, Colin now trying to come around again right to the uh, right to the forefoot. They know it's going to move here. So it's all about weight. They got uh, coming over the hog. It looks like it's got plenty of weight. This one doesn't look like it's moving as much as uh, the last one did. Might be just outside that spot. Yeah, it must be just outside. So now he'll, he'll go back to the back one and... But now you know. Now they've all but taken all those other three yellows out of out of play. But it does uh, give them a chance to draw around here again. Now this is Chris Ford's second shot, so we're down to uh, two rocks left now for uh, Simmons and three for Smith. And Smith Collin, I want to get right in there. Yeah, he's calling right down to the back. Yeah, I, I, is, I think there's an argument to just bite the top four here. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And, and it's, we know that it curls there, so if he comes by close, I, I think that's the better shot. If he comes to the back, you know that Simmons is following you. Yeah, and you don't want to go top button necessarily because if Simmons runs one of his in on yours, then he's in a perfect spot. Perfect. But top four, then if he runs one into yours, then he's he's not really – you still got the whole four foot yourself. Okay, I mean, from up here, Laura, this one looks like it's got lots of steam. It's definitely going to be in the back. Uh, now, Shirtcliff is uh, sweeping it to make to to get it to curl. Yeah, it hooked yeah. in there, and it, it's uh, you know it's a great shot. That's exactly but what he called. There's the shot right there. That's going to get you in trouble. So if uh, if Simmons can ever do the exact same thing and come on top of that. It's it's getting hard for uh, for Smith to score. Yeah, bit of a strange call. I know if I had thrown that shot, then my skip would not be happy. <laughs> that would be called a, a miss. <laughs> okay, big shot here for Simmons. Lots of rocks in play. There has been all game, as we uh, highly expected. There'd be lots of rocks and lots of great shots and. This is going to be another one here needed by uh, 
by Andrew. Now, as we saw in the last end, he's been short on all his draws. And this looks to be inside to me. And they're going to have to work this real hard to get this by. No, it's not getting by Wait. for sure. Has he got the... The weight isn't there either, I don't think. Again, uh, yeah, no, it was... <clears throat> the weight was just barely to the top of the 12. So, Andrew struggling a little bit with his draw weight and uh, handing it uh, the, the favor right back now to uh, Greg Smith. Greg makes this shot now and he gets around anywhere. He's he's in an, he's in great shape to score his deuce. <clears throat> Make no mistake, Greg has definitely noted that Andrew's struggling with his draw, and you'll see yep. Yep. a strategy um, catering to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we are, um, third end, one-to-one -one tie. The big chance here for uh, Alex Smith to get around and uh, bury one on the, on the forefoot and uh, give, uh, give Simmons some nightmares here with his last rock. So, watch. He let's it go, and the guys jump on this one a little bit too, immediately. But this one is 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 well outside of what Andrews was. So this has a good chance now. If they can, uh, you'll probably see him try to make this curl now in a second and really curl it in. It's a good looking shot coming there. He's got to get to the, got to get into the top of the four. Ooh, don't think so. Kind of like those rocks that uh, come in toward us last end. They just, I, again, I don't know if it's the weight's not there so it curls harder or if the, it picks up the curl quicker and then all of a sudden the weight comes out of it. Yeah. But that's been a number of rocks, and I don't think it's going to get any better as the game goes on. Yeah. They were they were off and on as if they thought that was, you know, right to the forefoot. So that's a, a big missed opportunity there. <clears throat> again... Simmons taking a look at a couple of different shots. Alex saying if we put a guard up there, how does he get his two? And I guess, Laura, if they wanted to play with it, that rock that you see there just over Andrew's toop there, that blue, he could tap that back and, and be really aggressive. Yeah. I'm not sure what the ice would be. No, looks like Think about touching that blue. Right now it's it's doing him a, f a lot of favors. Yeah. If he if he kind of chips off of it, it opens that path up for Greg to have a real simple draw. Right now Greg's draw isn't isn't that simple. Right. And uh, it looks like he's, he's gonna play it. I mean, so if he plays it with this perfect button weight, um, and he moves it back, his shooter will stay just about where it is, and it wouldn't make it hard. So big shot here for Simmons. I'm not sure. I guess the danger, Laura, is if he did ever chip it out of the way. Well, yeah. then it's the easy It's the easy two. There's no easy two right now. If, uh, if he put the guard up where Alex Smith said, they're up on the right side of the, uh, the blue one up top, well, it would be very hard for... For Greg Smith to get a deuce, but he's playing the aggressor here, and he wants to get uh, he wants to get shot rock and try for the steal. So big shot again now, and and, and again now you got to know that his head is spinning a little bit for weight. It's going to be all about angle here now. It looks like weight he's got plenty good. of weight on yeah. this one. He's got to get it on the outside of the rock, on it hard. This is really close. Depends there. on weight. No, nope, too far. Yeah. But at least he left that rock there, so uh, that's what you, no harm you done. said. The, the, the danger would have been if he moved that shot. So it's it's still a tricky deuce. I mean, but I, I think he can. Can he? Can he get in enough? Pass that. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. 
Now they're doing the Greg Smith thing, <laughs> looking at, uh, at at angles and is there anything I can drive in and get a three or a four or something weird like that. Yeah, so he's thinking if he if he drives that one in, uh, he might be able to, if we could see more of the rocks, but he might be able to come sort of around the horn and and get a two or three, but big risk. Yeah, I guess he feels he has his one, so why not? But I am not wasting any more seconds yeah, on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, it'd be really interesting uh, to see downstairs and see what the time is after the fifth, and this only being the third. Yeah. And I'm looking at all the other sheets, which they all start relatively the same time. And all of the other sheets are already into at least second or third rocks in the uh, fourth end. So we'll try to keep an eye on time clocks for you a little bit and see what happens. Greg is he's going to try it. I guess he feels there's no real shot for two. Um, the one he could tap is dead buried, and I guess he fig figures he can't get enough of the forefoot with the cold draw. Otherwise, I can't imagine why you wouldn't go for your two. I think one point in this game is going to make all the difference. Yeah. So this is a pretty much straight back onto that uh, blue, which is just to the right side of uh, Chris Ford. And I, I don't see the danger. I don't see where he could give up a one. But uh, I don't see anything for a three or four either. So this looks like it's a little touch inside to me. They're trying to keep it straight. He needs to get a little angle on it. This is very close. He's got there, and there it is. Yeah, that's very nice. This Greg Smith doing Greg Smith stuff right there. We've got a great shot for two. Came in off an outside one that nobody was looking at all end, and made it work. What a great shot there for Smith. So uh, it'll be interesting to keep an eye on the time, but you'll probably see some more hits now. But Greg Smith, fantastic shot there to get a two. Goes up three to one after three ends of play here at the uh, Newfoundland uh, Curling Provincials for the men's. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back now with fourth end action. Uh, after that great shot in three for uh, Greg Smith now to go up three to one. So uh, you'll see here, it, was, um, uh, I, I, it seemed like Greg got stuck between either getting right to the forefoot or being up front. But So top eight, now he's calling for the guard. Um, uh, and uh, Andrew uh, ha has his uh, corner guard up. So classic start to... Uh, uh, teams that are one trying to steal and of course uh, Simmons trying to get a two back here and of course uh, most of you saw it but we can't say enough about that shot that Greg threw uh, for his two in the third uh, not only is it a point an extra point but it real momentum swing I think it puts a lot of wind in the sails of your team and kind of sucks the air out of the other team to have a shot like that made against you yeah it's uh, th th there truly is a lot of teams that would have just said, no, you know, that's that's too crazy. Let's just try to draw. But this team knows that when Greg sees something, 
he can he can make it and then that's all there is to it so uh, now they're they're gonna get Simmons trying to battle back now to get a couple and uh, Alex Smith bringing that one yeah he gets it around he gets it in so uh, that stays in play we are playing the five rock rule and um, we are also playing the no tick rule I'm assuming Laura is uh, pretty sure that's a standard. yeah this would be curling Canada rules yeah. So the no tick rule briefly is if the in the first five rocks if if anything touches the center line if it's a guard if it touches the center line the other team can't even knock it off the center line so it's a, it's I guess the teams at the national level um starting with, I think it was Lisa Weigel, um, they just got so good at ticking the rocks off the center line that it, the other team didn't have a chance to keep anything up. So now they've uh, leveled the field a little bit, so you're not allowed to tick anything that's in the free guard zone for the first five rocks. Yeah, and that, that rule has kind of been a pro progression. Um, a lot of people watching probably don't even remember when there was no free guard zone, but basically... I remember. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, curling used to be, if a rock was in play, you could take it out. And then that got yeah. so boring that uh, I know Russ Howard was kind of the the you're, brains behind that you're, one. You're telling my story. Um, <laughs> Go for it. I, I don't even know if my years are right because Trickett's not here. But um, 93 Briar, I went to back-to-back -back Briars. The 93 Briar is a... It's an interesting shot there. For, anyway, so the 93 Briar was the last year without the free guard zone. I was there, and uh, we scored one in whatever the second end on Russ Howard, and he scored four, <laughs> and that was it. He said, sorry, guys, it's the third end, but I'm going to take every single rock you put up off, and he did. They missed nothing. That was uh, Mada Corner and uh, brother, of course, Glenn. So the next year, I uh, was lucky enough to go back with Mark Nosery. The first year was with uh, Gary. Next year, there was the three guard zone, and what a difference it made. The scores went from three to two and four to one up to eight to seven, and and it's just a lot more rocks in play. It went to the four rock rule. Now we're at the five rock rule. I do believe they have to stop. The I don't know. Six rock rule would be this. Well, again, <laughs> instead of the six rock rule, they came up with the the, the, no, tick. the no tick rule. And I've heard talks about maybe um, not being able to hit the first two rocks in play, whether they're in the house or not, or um, if rocks are behind the tee, not being able to take them out. There's talks of uh, eventually changing the rules again if the, the games get too predictable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean. Uh, kudos to you know the people that are are watching this and saying you know how can we make it more more interesting i mean another thing obviously sorry was as the game was going on here um you see that uh, now smith has one directly behind uh, andrew simmons center guard i think they're looking at trickett now to uh, he could run it straight back or he can try a lighter weight there but uh, it looks like a little bit of a lightweight takeout and, and roll but another thing that uh, they've done is they've drastically reduced the amount of time that some of the, the games are, uh, are are using so that keeps the game going that's a TV, sort of a tv thing and it, but it, it there was a time when you could talk about shots forever and they changed that from thinking time to playing time and so they're always looking at how to make the uh, how to make the game more interesting easier to watch on television and so on and so forth so, yeah, so we'll keep an eye on it. And as Curl Canada goes, I guess we'll, we'll follow the rules. Another shot from Stephen that I think was just a little bit too much weight. He, he got around the guard. He hit it, I think, where he wanted to, but rolled out. Yeah, it was uh, almost identical to a couple of ends ago. Laura, as you were saying, if that was lighter weight, he definitely had a better chance to stay in. So you give Smith a chance now to come around that guard again, and we're already into uh, Chris Ford's shots. Looks like it's going to have room to get by, and it's all up to the weight now. And so back to Stephen's shot. Um, you know, it's worth noting that we often, as spectators, blame the thrower. Uh, it might not have been him. It might have been the weight that was asked of him, and he still rolled out. So it's always, uh, especially as a curler yourself, you're always kind of trying to hear what the skip is asking for because uh, you do what you're told, and then it reflects on you if you're the one that missed. Yeah. 
it's uh, the the weights are so critical i mean to that everybody on the team knows not just the the guy throwing but the sweepers and everybody needs to know what weight is coming down because it makes so much of a difference to the uh, to the curl so colin now trying to come around uh, into the forefoot looks like lots of weight they're sweeping a little bit for line they they know it curls hard on this side I just saw Steven say, look, this has got lots of weight. they got to get by that guard. That same spot oh, we pointed they, out. Yeah, they take the guard. I don't know. It would have been better to be deep and, and buried than where it is there now. Yeah. So, Greg, now, uh, again, you know, the... Uh, uh, the 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 club curler would probably just come up and you know hack our board weight take that out and lie three, but this is a great opportunity now for uh, Smith to freeze that which is just back of the T line. If he makes the perfect freeze, he's in another steal position and uh, that can be a big point. So they're off it for a minute now. They're back on. So it's got to be fairly close. Again, we know it breaks hard here. First thing is they want to... Plan B. Just try to come right around. Okay. I don't, okay, so he didn't make it for shot. Now we're into Colin's second shot, and he's calling a f corner freeze. Not sure what else he has there, Laura, but... If he corner freezes, you got to think that that Alex is just going to guard it, and is he? Well, he might have a shot for two around on that uh, in turn, I guess. Yeah. This is Colin's second shot here. He, the guys are off it completely. It seems to be. Pretty close weight. Just keeping a tickle there now. I can't quite see. <clears throat> we moved it. He moved it in for shot, I think, Laura, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He did, yep. So that's not what they wanted. The rock they left is dangerous. I mean, I, I can't see why Greg wouldn't. If he hits and flops in, I don't think he's second shot, though. So does he does he look at guarding it, or does he actually come in, maybe come in and corner it? But no, he's, yeah, hmm, yeah you're right. That That's a very dangerous shot or spot for him right now. I don't think he's still quite made up his mind. You could throw a guard there so they can't use that, that blue. That was my but thoughts, then, yeah. But you don't have a lot of room for your second point either if you do that. Or any room. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Simmons has last rock. That's right. Sorry, not your second Yeah, point. and that's, that's why I'm thinking a guard would be good, mm -hmm. but... Uh, unless Simmons has got a little bit of Greg Smith in him and plays that one that's way up, uh, you know, but, I mean, give him that every day. So I think... It's not much ice for a guard, I don't know. No, I, 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 th I thought he was... Okay, we're... Just watch him. We're trying to see what weight he's throwing. He's, it looks like he's thrown uh, like a light takeout weight. First thing he's got to do is get by that blue guard. And once he's by there, he's got to move that blue. That's probably he what he wants. that out yeah. and rolls in a good spot. Yeah, no, that's a great shot. Yeah. Don't know if he, if he meant to throw a little more, but anyway, mission accomplished. He he got rid of the dangerous rock, and, and Simmons is looking at that run in. 
Not yet. Maybe. Yeah, but he knows it's out there. So if he gets to the front there, if he lines it up perfect, well, there, there might be something there for him. So this is a, a freeze to shot rock. Is yeah. he trying to move it? I don't think so. No, with, I mean, he might be able to with back four weight, or, but. Yeah, I mean, the way it curls in there. Yeah, it's it's got to be, I mean, obviously really, really close, and you got to just miss that, that second, the, the sandwich jello. But uh, you know, this is uh, some exact shots happening here. And, and he, I, I really don't think he can afford to give another steal, right, or a steal, sorry, right here. Go down three. So they jumped right on this again. Uh, it's, uh, he seemed to have picked up his weight the last end. Now he's got a, uh, this one is, looks Same like thing. it might be moving hard on him. So at what point do you question that rock? Yep. Uh, just then. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, if he's still throwing that same rock, that's the, that seems to be a, a cutter. So now... Even if it's not a cutter as a player, you just take that rock out of his take, hand. Yeah, because he's been short three times, yeah. Yeah. He, ma he made the nice shot the last one, but that was a tap back. So that's a little bit of a different mindset. So, yeah, no, that's three short draws that he's had. You know, they are jumping it out of his hand, so yeah. I suspect yeah. he's probably under-throwing it. Yeah. But again, just, give, just shake it up and yeah. take that out of his yeah. head. That's right. So now uh, Greg is going to call the double here and uh, lie five. And uh, I don't know. I mean, Simmons won't have much of a shot for one. I mean, he'll be literally trying to cut him down. So if he makes this perfect, he'd actually probably just as soon roll away if he makes this double. Mm -hmm. Let it go. And the, the straight guy oh, jumped is... right on it right away. It's... Uh, so they're trying to keep this straight to get him guard, by, but he's yeah. going to be on the top guard. And then it takes that blue. Ooh, um, well, he's got to. He's just got to find his weight here and throw back four weight and just try to sneak by that first one. Don't know if there's a two there, but. Uh, Rob, how many times in your career have you told a skip that there's something wrong with the rock when there wasn't? When there wasn't? Yeah, yeah just no. to make them yeah. feel better. Yeah, that, yeah. Well, oh yeah, no, we've done it. Yeah. Absolutely. As soon as you, like, I, this would definitely be a spot for me there that I'd say, listen, Andrew, you know, you've been short on him. I, th I think it's the rock, even if I didn't. But And uh, then wink, wink to your yeah, other front right. end player. <laughs> yeah, get it, get it out of his hands and, and make him feel that, you know, I, I'd say, look, my two are matched perfect, so let's switch them up. Definitely, Laura. There's a, a, after those two. Now, you got to think that he's going down. This is the exact shot he's got to throw. Just back four. And, and you got to think he's thinking, what's the weight here? I, I've been short. I've been short. Well, this is all the sweepers. They're going to have to communicate with him. Yeah. You know, we liked the last one out of your hand. This is a different type of rock. Or, you know, you got to give us a little extra. Um, you're a little soft on your release. They got to give him some feedback, I think. Yeah, I mean, right now he's got to throw one. He just threw one that di probably didn't quite make it to the house, to the back four. So I mean, he needs six or eight feet more. And if it if it is the rock, this could sail on. Yeah. If it comes to his back blue, it's still I think it's only a one. Uh, this has got more juice for sure. Now, like you said, is it too much? Okay, so now it's all about line. Stephen Trickett is on it, so that means they want it to curl. You can see the communication is there. Now, it's, if it comes over enough, they, they stop sweeping it. This is real close. He's going to come to his blue. Yeah, so I think he had the right weight on that one. Laura just didn't quite yeah. curl as far as they wanted to. And you, I think you can see Stephen asking Alex, how come we weren't sweeping that to, yeah, to make it way. curl? Yeah, yeah, he could have been yeah, pounding that right till it, till it hit. Anyway, um, bottom line is it's a big, huge point there for uh, steel for um, Greg Smith. And uh, now after four ends, Greg is up three points, four to one. And uh, it's, a, it's a big lead for him. And you're going to see uh, when we come back, you're going to see Andrew now.
put all the ba all his eggs in one basket and start uh, gambling and try to get a big end. So we'll give you a minute there now, and we'll catch up, and we'll be right back in the fifth end. Sure. Hey, we're back in the uh, <clears throat> fifth end action here now at the uh, live from the St. John's uh, Curling Club Remax Center. We're in St. John's, Newfoundland, and we're playing the 2024 Men's Provincials. And the winner, of course, goes to the Montana's Briar in March. And uh, big, uh, big in there for uh, Greg Smith. And uh, as he stole one on uh, Andrew Simmons, is now up four to one. We're on this end now, Andrew's got to be pretty much all in. Yeah, and I would say the first two rocks were half shots. Um, Greg called, of course, he had the points, so he didn't really want guards, and he called, I would say, top four, and it's just uh, biting the 12 foot, so that's a bit of a half shot. And then um, Andrew asked Alex for a corner guard, and as you can see, it's the one on, way over on the right on your screen. Uh, and it's even short of the, the logo. So basically, if you come around that, any, it, you'll be able to get it out no matter what, or you should, the way the ice is curling. So that's a bit of a useless guard. Uh, now his second corner guard is much better. And uh, Greg's, uh, Zach Young's, um, uh, sorry, the other Zach. Zach. Uh, yeah, it's Sh Shercliffe. Yeah. Shercliffe, yeah. His, uh, his second shot was much better, too. It was probably where the first one should have been. So just done in reverse order, really. Yeah, and so now... Now he gets his guard up in a good spot. So, Andrew, uh, he's going to have to move some rocks uh, to try to clean up the front a little bit. If, if he gets this just on the broom side, he should get the two guards. He may get some action in the back. But his main concern here with Stephen now is he'd like to make sure he keeps that shooter over on the side and it doesn't look like you can't see it but I'm watching from up above oh he misses the second one so that's uh, that's not great now uh, Greg gets to put it back up there again and it uh, and so it continues I'm gonna quick oh sorry you got something uh, I was just gonna say I'm I'm a very defensive player which is probably why I've, last time I skipped I was a junior um, <laughs> but I would not be throwing a guard here you're up by three you don't yep. need rocks in play um, yep. if you uh, I, I, I don't know if it, back your own or yeah, something. Keep it yeah. in. Yeah, I think I think a guard is only going to be Andrew's friend at this point. Right. No. 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 I I can agree with that. Uh, certainly, up three, put it in the house somewhere, and make them move three rocks. And maybe yeah. Zach is listening because he might have hogged this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He did. Indeed. There you he go. Did. Okay, so did Zach not want to throw that? That we will leave uh, as a mystery. We will leave that. 
So just quickly, uh, I'll, I'll shoot across the ice now as we watch. Uh, now I guess Andrew will try to hit and roll behind one of his corners. But uh, quickly across the ice, we got Dylan Hancock now up uh, four to two on Nathan Young after four ends of play. Um, we have uh, Ryan McNeil Lambswood up three to nothing after four on Trent Skeynes. Now we'll just take a quick look as he comes in there. He gets the hit, makes the double on the back, and that's a good shot. So now they, they've got three guards and nothing in behind. And the last game on the sheets now, right now, Harold Walters is up three to one on Dave Thomas. That is actually that is also after four ends of play. Again, see, defensive me says peel this. I, I know Greg's talking about going around it, and oh. that's offensive. But if you yeah. peel this, very few skips would do it. Don't get me wrong. But if you, oh, he's doing it. Okay, he's, yay for me. He, yeah. Now he did say, stay right there. Okay. Yeah. He he wants to change the color. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess if he peels it, he, well, that's a. He goes around the corner then, but that's he goes around the corner. But you know, uh, yeah, most of the other team is getting this too, and you're yep. still up one with. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is. Uh, uh, yeah, I would have been surprised for him to come around that. That would have been pretty aggressive. So this is uh, Chris Ford. Looks like he's going to be very close to a nose on this. But, and there's the uh, the nose hit there. So now, as you said, it is a guard and it becomes Andrew's friend. The difference being it's it's their color. I mean, it's it's Greg's own and we know what he's like for running stuff back. And But now this is a chance now. So Andrew will uh, try to draw around his own corner here now and try to set up a two. <laughs> Alan Thomas. Andrew is hand out saying that it's way outside. Got to curl a mile. Doesn't matter at this point how deep you are. Or what matters here is to try to bury it. Andrew trying to sneak it by. I um, I'm right behind this now, and that's still. A full half open, so uh, so Smith will just throw a control takeout weight and hit and just stay there or roll a little bit. <coughs> yes, it's probably still Zach's shot or uh, um, Chris's <laughs> shot. Yeah. yeah, looking down, there was a lot of there was a lot of yellow down there for him to be coming down. <laughs> So now we'll have Chris Ford throw the lighter weight. So at, at, at this point, I guess he tried to just stay in the open. Okay, sorry about that. We're just a little technical thing there. I'll uh, revisit in a second. So here's uh, Chris Ford now. It looks like he's going to have a, a good line. He'll uh, sweep it at the curl it. And they'll make contact, and then he's going to roll out. So a chance now for them to put it in again. Um, it looks like uh, just a, a correction for me. Um, I've been saying because they show on my schedule that uh, Ryan McNeil Lamwood is throwing the yellow rocks, but it looks like it's actually Trent Skeynes throwing the yellow rocks. So sorry about that for the uh, Lamswood fans out there, but it's actually Trent Skeynes that is up three to nothing there. Now I'm going to have to make sure my other colors are correct. As we get back to this one, Collins looks like he's got a better line, but it's curling really hard on this one. Oh, he didn't have the weight. Just no weight to get there. Uh, this is uh, wasting opportunities here. Yeah, and it's surprising again because he just threw this shot. Yeah, and yeah that's right. What the last one was back 12, and this is a halfway guard. So that's a huge discrepancy in weight. Crazy. Chance now for. Uh, 
Greg Smith to come around his own yellow here and be in the forefoot, and this is certainly looking like a, a force to one, which puts uh, would put uh, Smith in control. So Greg Smith's first rock here in the fifth, trying to take some control of this game. Sweepers off and on is always a good sign. They got to watch for the line now. There it goes. Now it makes the break. Well, it looks like it's going to be well by the guard and uh, should be perfect and it stays above the tee line. Yep. That's a perfect shot for uh, Greg Smith. Safe to say if uh, we were doing percentages, Greg is significantly out curling uh, Andrew uh, at the moment. I would say uh, no doubt. Yeah. All homegrown boys on the ice except for one. Yes, um, that's right. Yeah, that that's um, and again, I'm <laughs> Zach. His name. I keep wanting to say sh sh shirtless, but it's uh, not shirtless. I, right, shirt, <laughs> shirt. I have shirt left. Although he's the only one jacketless. So. There you go. We'll call him <laughs> Zach Jacketless. Um, S h u r t l e f f shirtless, and uh, he's actually from Hamilton, Ontario, Laura, and uh, I guess. Uh, Greg knew him from elsewhere and uh, is the import this year for the, uh, the teams in the provincials can have one person that doesn't live in Newfoundland. And uh, I don't know if we have many others, do we, uh, Laura? I think, uh, oh, um, Lanford is here mm -hmm. and we'll chat about him. I think he's in the next feature game. But uh, yeah, that's his one to one non-local boy. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I don't know if you saw what happened there, but uh, the sweeper's uh, stopwatch broke off and uh, nearly got in the way. But uh, it doesn't seem to matter here. Andrew just doesn't seem to have any no. any feel for the ice uh, tonight so far. Mm. That's a bit of a mess there now. and. Smith's going to try to figure out where he can go to make the uh, make the, the the draw harder for uh, for Andrew Simmons. I think he's going to be playing this just to the uh, the top of the the side by side with the one there or even on the top of the 12 foot I guess top of the 12 wouldn't be much good there might be a chance at a blank I didn't see where he tapped the broom yeah I think as long as he's dead buried doesn't really matter where but uh, or there's not much room buried. to be I'm, I'm wondering should he be like even out of the rings up on the in front of the Mm. Let's say the the re, the X and Remax and make the draw almost impossible. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right there somewhere. I think is is the call. Oh, and Greg is not taking any time. He's making the call. And not to be hard on Alex, but it seems like any draw is a little bit impossible for him. So. Well, yes, for for uh, uh, Andrew. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry, Andrew. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's not not a bad idea to yeah, force him to yeah, draw in the first place. Get in one. his head now for sure. Instead of trying to come around something and giving him a hit and and to get out of it. No. So this is a uh, this is a, they're going to put one just a foot in front of the house in front of the the, the max of Remax there in the blue and uh, that'll make it really hard for uh, for Andrew to draw to the forefoot to uh, to get a one and uh, right now you you got to think that Andrew's in his own head now about draw weight and certainly Greg uh, Greg has picked up the ice uh, much much quicker. So it's in the hands of the sweepers. They don't want to curl too far because uh, they'll give them a, a route in. But this looks like it's going to be in a good spot as it comes over. They'll guide it up and right, right there. And that that is one hard draw. And it may be the only chance he's got. He's going to have to still come around it to try it. There you go. He's, he's signaling. And tr just come by close and make it right to the forefoot, right there to get his one. Tough shot. Got to over, um, 
probably doesn't have to over curl uh, Laura, but he's certainly got to be close to the guard. And yeah, close to the outside guard uh, too. Right? Well, that, that's true if he gets a little outside. But uh, right now, uh, the line is the last thing he's thinking about. Yeah, he's he's just trying to trying to clear his mind and get draw weight here. So big shot for Andrew Simmons here now, uh, already down four to one, and has to make a very tough draw to the uh, the four foot to get his one. Or uh, you know, it's certainly not lights out, but against Smith playing the way they are, you don't want to. You can't be down four points after half the game. So we'll take a look and. Uh, see what goes on the one thing we are kind of conditioned to do though is to think that the game is only eight ends because most of the ones we see on tv are yep um, yeah that's and it was in my head too it's still a full five ends to play yeah yeah okay there we go with uh, simmons last rock he has to just come by that uh, the top yellow this is saying outside something really wicked i don't know that they're going to get by that blue one no and, and on top of that i don't know if he has no he didn't get by the blue one so again it looks like a one he's looking down on that if he moves it if greg moves it it's a one yeah okay so it's a steal of one there and uh big steal it, it's andrew just can't quite figure out uh, the draw weight uh, so that puts uh greg smith up five to one after five ends of play here at the 2024 uh, Newfoundland Men's Provincials. It's the fifth end break. We're going to take uh, a couple of minutes and we'll be back with the start of the sixth end.
All right, welcome back, uh, viewers. We are live from the uh, Remax Center, St. John's uh, Newfoundland, the St. John's Curling Club. We're in the 2024 Men's Provincials. The uh, winner of the tournament, of course, goes to the Montana's Briar in March in Regina. We are watching Andrew Simmons and Greg Smith. Uh, Greg Smith with a big steal there now. That's two, two ends in a row. Up five to one, so you're going to see him try to keep things clean. As I look across, just we see all the ices now are after the fifth end break. So the, uh, the sheet three, um, uh, Nathan Young, the defending champ, of course, has uh, just made a two, and he is. They're now tied with Dylan Hancock. It's four to four after five ends there. And uh, as I made the mistake before, Trent Skeens is actually. Uh, up now he has another steal he's stolen three ends in a row now so he is up four to nothing after five against uh, ryan mcneil's lambs wood and a uh, big end for uh, dave thomas for you people in port of basque watching and um, dave picked up a three in the fifth to go up four to three now over harold walters so that catches you up on the uh, on the games here after five ends of play a uh, very quick reminder that the Scotties uh, Provincials actually starts here, but uh, that starts on Thursday, the 25th, and we will be broadcasting a, a game uh, on, on the 25th. But for now, we're still in the uh, the men's. We'll, we're broadcasting two games uh, a draw, and uh, we're happy to be showing this to all our viewers. And I think, uh, Laura, we, uh, we got a few... Uh, missteps there now when you got uh, Smith doing exactly what he wants and taking rocks out and and keeping things clean. Absolutely. And um, unfortunately, uh, Simmons lead, was it? Alex slipped in on this, yep. uh, this attempted second corner guard. So that enabled uh, Smith to take it out. That kind of happens when when you get down points, uh, you know, some teams really dig in and then others kind of just this the wind comes right out of your sails yeah. even more so and for those ac across the country we would say um the arse falls out of her yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you yeah. kind of get misses from every player and it's i mean it's <clears throat> absolutely critical i mean the the lead uh, especially when you're down but at any time the lead is one of the most important people on the ice because you have to set up those you got two chances to throw free guards and uh, you got to set them up when you when you when you slip in like that it just gives the other team all kinds of oxygen so now you've got uh, smith you got him lying too and he's now he's going to start just peeling everything he sees for now Zach Young, the, all these guys are so good at these the hits with the big weight. Uh, it's hard to hard to stay around for sure. So he's sweeping hard. You're gonna make a liar of me right away, <laughs> and uh, he stays there for a corner guard. But uh, you got to hit a lot of that rock to stay like that. Yeah. So, so not sure if Andrew. I'll tell you what I I did notice <laughs> is that uh, Stephen Trickett was in the hack and ready to throw. Hmm. That tells me that there's time issues too. Now I didn't go downstairs and check, but this is a draw around their own uh, their own guard here now to try to get something in play. Now they're starting to work on it because we know it curls pretty hard to the corner. Good looking shot coming in. Gets in there for a second shot, but nicely buried behind the guard. Now Zach will uh, <clears throat> try to just peel this away now. I don't think they'll, uh, they'll bother trying to run that straight back unless he's a little inside. Sweeping hard on the straight side for the straight peel. Takes it, misses everything in the back and rolls away. Now Andrew would have two choices. He could guard his own blue, but he's going to try to come in around that one. It's uh, absolute bare minimum. He has to get a two. Uh, 
So he'll come around there, try to bury this one, and look for a half of a miss out of uh, out of the uh, Greg Smith team. Collins looking pretty good, coming over the hog. It looks like he's got plenty of line. The guys are sweeping a bit for uh, for weight. They want to curl that in as best they can. They have to get try to get to the full 12. And I think, yeah, so he's got the full 12 there now. So he's second, third, and uh, sitting, sorry, second and third. Now Alex will just play, or sorry, Greg will just play a... Uh, straight hit on, on the one there in the house and lie to sorry rob i went awol on you there i was just okay. um, getting some feedback from our boss who pays very little i must say but uh so now the chris ford he's they're shouting hard to keep this straight can't see if he'll he looks like he'll make plenty of contact he rolls in oh right there okay and so now that you've mentioned our boss there, uh, Laura, big uh, shout out here to Trevor Bartlett, of course, who's looking after us. And oh, no, he's not the boss. He, ha he has a boss. And oh, he it's has a one boss. Ms. Kathy Cunningham. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Ka Kathy is the, yes, looking after all of the scheduling. Big shout out to you, Kath. Yeah. I mean, great job again. We've got uh, people covering every game and... Uh, we were enjoying doing it. Our boss here is uh, Trevor, and he's looking after the cameras and the score and et cetera. So big shout out to him again, too. So we got uh, Colin makes the one and rolls the second one out. So he's lying two again. Good shot there. Alex, uh, yeah, he he wouldn't he wouldn't be too upset if he gives up a two here. I mean, but he'll uh, he'll hit and stick, and then hope that they roll out. If 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 by some chance he ever did roll out here, it'll be interesting to see if uh, Simmons comes around his own blue and has a shot at a three. But if he sticks here, be be okay. Can't uh, you can't see uh, Greg in the hack quite there with the with the angle, but Greg still incorporates the old backswing, and uh, I kind of like watching it. It's uh, sort of old fashioned, but uh, he, he certainly uses it to the, the to the best of his abilities, and uh, of course makes the shot, hits and sticks. You need a hit and stick here now, and. Yeah, he's sort of uh, just playing. Alex is saying now, if we come, if we want to get a three, here's where we got to take the chance to come around our blue. But uh, you know, what does Greg do? What do you think here, Laura? Do you try this, and or do you just go for your two? There's half a game left, so I don't think to I don't think you lose if you only get your two. You lose if you only get your one. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a minimum two. So and this is a, you know, th th not a sure thing, but you know, you get a hit and stick, hit and stick, a hit and stick, and it's a, it's a two here for Simmons, and that's what he seems to be resigned to there now, and uh, and, and that's fine. Like you say, these are these are ten ends, they're not eight, so you still have uh, you know you still have four ends after this to. You know, steal one, take two, or sorry, give one, take two, give one, take two. And of course, the reason they're 10 ends, uh, the ones you see on TV are often the slams. And the slams are a separate entity from any of the Curling Canada events. So the Season of Champion events is what they call them. So uh, Canada Cup, which is now called the Points Bet uh, Invitational, I believe. And um, uh, the Briar, the Scotties, the Worlds, and of course the Olympics. So as long as the Olympics ultimately stays 10 ends, all of these Curling Canada events will stay 10 ends. What? Yeah. Do you like eight? I, I kind of like eight instead of ten. Or do you like the 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 big chance to come back like this? I mean, an eight yeah. here, this is over. In I ten, like yeah. I like ten with time clocks personally. Okay.
well, as a Masters player now over 60, I kind of like six ends, <laughs> but I guess that's not coming anytime soon. Used to play in a league in uh, in Regina, and we'd always try and negotiate before we started the game. Uh, six rock, six ends, six beer. Oh, and a lot of people would go for it. We'd be I, yeah, we'd be yeah. utterly yeah. disgusted with our skip if they weren't able to secure that negotiation. Uh, sounds like good club play to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Smith. He's going to try to just hit and stick in a matter. Well, he'll try to get a little roll now. Actually, if he gets a roll, it's a force to one. That would really take the wind out of uh, Andrew Sales for sure. Trying to curl it. This is probably going to be really close to this roll. He's got that really nice weight. Uh, did he get around enough? Yes, miss swept. Yes, yeah. It was just a little miss swept there. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's not happy coming down there. He thinks that no. should have been in behind, as good, well it should have been. Good thing he wasn't mic'd on that one. <laughs> yeah. So, good, uh, fairly uh, fairly simple chance here now for Andrew to get his two, stay in the game, and a uh, chance to pick away. Now he's got... Uh, now he's got uh, Craig a little upset at that, so try to take advantage. So important. Uh, it just shows you the importance of these sweepers and and the line calls. I mean, that was uh, that should have been totally buried. So here we go with uh, Simmons' last rock here in the uh, six. He's uh, got to come by. They're working hard on this. He's got to get by that blue guard. It looks like he's close, and now they're off it, so they should be okay. Makes that big roll. No problem there for uh, Andrew Simmons. Gets his two back, but uh, makes it five to three now, right now, with uh, Greg Smith has last rock now, or as we go into the seventh, but it's five to three, and we will be back in uh, well, 30 seconds. Hi and welcome back. Here we are in the uh, the seventh end now of the uh, the game between Alec or sorry Greg Smith. There is two Smiths. Greg Smith and Andrew Simmons, and we're here in the St. John's Curling Club uh, live at the Men's Provincials. And um, so we got the the classic start there of uh, um, Simmons putting up his corner guard. Uh, Smith came around and he probably went a little deep, which could make it really interesting this end. Just want to uh, tell you, I mean, uh, we're happy to be doing commentary on as many games as we can. There's two sheets available every uh, for, for for our curling club, and uh, let you know that uh, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Uh, we have uh, Glenn Goss and uh, Mark Noserty, two big names in Newfoundland curling. They're going to be uh, doing the commentary for the. Uh, the uh, Greg Smith and Trent Gaines game. So that'll be a fantastic game to tune into. If you're at work, put your second monitor on like I'll do and uh, watch that game. At 3.30 uh, tomorrow afternoon, Mark Noserty and uh, Steve Sporty Bragg will be uh, doing the commentary for the uh, McNeil Lambswood versus uh, Simmons game. And that will become a big game for Simmons uh, for sure. Well, if, if this one ends like it is. So two real big games tomorrow. 
uh, both uh, both being broadcast live, and uh, we certainly invite you to tune in and, and watch some great curling from uh, the St. John's Curling Club. And thanks again to all the commentators that are coming down, giving their time, and uh, spreading this great uh, this great tournament around to wherever you are in the world that you can get uh, internet and Wi-Fi, and we're happy to see we got lots of viewers tonight, and we expect this to grow every day as we get closer and closer to the big prize. So, uh, Laura, good, good start here for uh, for Smith, even though they're on the center line. Yeah, I think it's kind of in favor of both and against both <laughs> teams. Yep. There's a lot of rocks in play. And if you're Smith, you don't really want uh, five rocks in play. Uh, every rock in play, actually. Um, they're not in great position, but you're right that they are, you know, behind the center guard, the center guards. And one at least is top, uh, top house. But as you see, um, Greg is asking to promote that top eight rock. So uh, I wouldn't call that one ideal either. Um, just, as we predicted, he uh, just changed his mind. I think now ah, he's, yep, he's going to peel right. now. Yep. As we predicted earlier, uh, this, this one rock being the exception, um, opposition's rocks are barely coming to rest before the next player is in the hack throwing, yeah. uh, yeah. because of time, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure it is. And that, that puts, that adds a little bit of extra pressure. So, uh, Zach now looked like he got w w way inside on his, but he will make contact with the top one but it, uh greg was hoping for a little double peel there and get them both out of the way well, an interesting call here for simmons he's calling for it up front but you might see a change of direction okay no, now he's changed his mind and he's he's going to play the freeze down to the back yellow which again for him laura is really making the ring small but if he makes well, he's, it, I mean, he's trying to he's steal. He's trying to steal. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and he don't even think about stealing two. Just get one nestled in there now. So this is a big shot if he can ever just get by that top yellow and and nestle in there. This looks good coming over the line. You see now they're going to work hard at trying to curl it. Yeah, it makes a nice move there. It's um. From up above again, I'm looking right at it. It's it's certainly more than a, there's a thick half showing, so he can get at it. But is Greg looking at just going, taking the top off? I would. Yeah, I think I would too, yeah. Yeah, uh, Shirtcliffe is down looking at it, but uh, Greg has got it made. <laughs> so, not going to change his mind right now. Oh, I know that backward slide all too well. <laughs> yeah. Skip doesn't even make eye contact with nope. you. <laughs> yeah, you just go away. I know what I want to do. And this is, uh, I, I think, is, is the right call for sure. So this one is uh, looking at uh, just making the, the straight peel. And rolling away just like that. And uh, that opens everything up there now. So now you're going to have Andrew Simmons playing the uh, playing the guard. So everything's got to be made perfectly here for Simmons now with uh, those couple of yellows in. If they give him a look at it at all, uh, Smith will be lying too on, in a hurry. Colin Thomas, first shot in the seventh end. It's like this is staying out a little bit on them, but I'm sure they got uh, lots of sweet power to get that to, uh, to curl. <coughs> and comes to rest perfectly. Yeah, covering. I think they left that. And they did leave Greg's it again. Yeah, it, it actually overcurled, and there's a... Uh, there's still a half a rock showing, so that, that didn't quite come to where they want it. So Smith will ask his third now, Chris Ford, play a bit of uh, extra weight, peel weight, and uh, just pick that right out of there. Smith throws, that's our board. Working hard now to get it by the top one, gets by. And chips it out, just uh, as easy as that. Uh, so 
a little bit of a missed opportunity there for the Simmons team, and now they got to put one right back in there. They got to put it in there better. Um, even if they, even if they go back to the back one, Laura. Now, I mean, the main thing is to get this totally buried. Yeah. As you said, give one, get two. So they're not devastated if they if they only give up a one. Yeah. 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 Okay, it's Colin Thomas's second shot here. He's trying to get right back to that, uh, back to that spot. The sweepers are working this one hard for for weight. Got to get by the top yellow. It's close. Now they got to try to bury as much as they can. Right <clears throat> Keep going. There. And now that's a better spot. Now they can't get at it. Now Greg Smith has to make the draw. And as I say, he's got to make the draw. He's going to make the peel. This time, I think, Laura, he's trying to come st uh, straight back he instead is. of just peeling. And the risk with this is you've got to be you know, more precise, obviously, than just a ho-hum peel. And if you miss it by just the slightest little bit, right. you leave a guard there. He leaves a guard there, yep. So this one looks, looks like, like it might peel. be a bit outside, and he's just going to peel it. <coughs> now, now. Now does Simmons come right down on top of the one that he just threw, or does he throw the guard? I think the guard, personally, because Still one more time. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think with the weight that Greg can throw, if you group those two blue together, they're gone. Right, right. Or yeah, he he just send the yellow back at him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So you're playing to your opposition's, uh, you you know his strengths, and he wouldn't he wouldn't miss that. So a guard here, and they want to make sure this time not as critical to to cover it because he can't get it out if he only shows them a, a quarter, but still wants to, he'd probably like to get right in the middle of them, Laura, so he, they, they don't have full access to that yellow too. Absolutely. Yeah. You see Steven get on it, which means they want to try to keep it a bit straighter. They don't want it to over curl. Coming over, starting to curl a bit there now. They're gonna, they'll leave him to draw. So this time, I think you'll see him draw. But I shouldn't try to outguess Greg. I'm with you. I mean, yeah. So Chris is saying we can go there, or we can uh, throw that run back again. At this point, this is whatever whatever Greg wants to do. Looks like he wants to run back, and he kind of spread his fists to say, if I peel, I peel. Yeah, so, yeah, and then, okay, well, I mean, you know that. Greg talks as much with his hands as his mouth, so it's yeah. kind of hard, it's kind of easy to <laughs> pick up on what he's saying. Yeah. Okay, so this is, the, again, This I'm assuming it's a run back, not a peel, because he knows that they'll just put it there again, and... It'll be hard for Greg to score his one. But he try to run it back and move some stuff around, but this is well outside. You see the outside curler now trying to... Uh, he seems happy with just the, just the peel. There it is. So now Simmons puts it in a little better position, and it's going to be hard for Greg to make that draw for one. I think he'll run that yellow in, like I said, and just spill the blues. Yeah, yeah if he... If he, if but he if he, it if he all, positions, yeah. if he ever got this one up on the, we can't see the rocks we're looking at, there you go. Um, if he ever got it just sort of corner frozen on that yellow so that he couldn't send it straight back mm -hmm. and guards is blue, yep. that, that would be, uh, that would be really tough. I think I'm more interested in guarding more of the yellow than the blue on this. So big shot here. This is uh, Andrew Simmons' final rock here, and he's uh, down uh, down four. He needs he, he or sorry, down three. Is he down three? He needs a steal. Coming over the hog looks like it's in pretty good position. Wants to stop right where Alex Broom is. So he's definitely covered the yeah. the run back. So now uh, all Greg has got is to make that perfect draw. 
And for those, you know, kind of beginning into curling, what Alex did there is basically the perfect way to communicate with your sweepers where you want to guard. The the guard zone, uh, I, I'm not sure how, how long it is actually in feet or meters or whatever, yeah, but it's, it's big. Yeah, um, yeah. So saying, you know, halfway guard or even a, a one and a two uh, isn't as, as specific as if the line caller just holds their broom and just keeps tapping right here, right here. It's a right. target that the sweepers can... Um, Gives the sweepers a really good visual. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So that's a, you know, perfectly positioned spot there. And now you've got Greg Smith with his last rock here in the seventh. Has to make the perfect draw to the, uh, to the button to get a single point. So he's letting he's give it to the sweepers and the sweepers are working this one hard, uh, probably working for weight, more I for think. weight because the line seems like it's good. Now you got the curl side sweeper trying to bring it into the button. We can't see it from here, but I think. Yeah, it just didn't didn't get the curl by that. So absolutely huge, huge deal there for uh for andrew simmons so that uh, that makes it a more of a an interesting game for sure uh, with that steal it makes it five to four after seven ends of play remember we are playing 10 this is a provincial national event so we're playing 10 it's five to four right now for greg smith greg retains last rock up one in the eighth we'll be right back Okay, we're back in the eighth end um, of this what's now a, a tight game again. And I would say we've opened with two sort of half shots again. Um, the uh, Simmons first rock did not touch the center line, therefore it can be uh, ticked. And then uh, Smith's first rock, I'm certain he did not want to guard there. So that one came up short. So advantage Simmons now with uh, three guards in play. Of course, he's going to try and steal. Um, Greg is going to want his two, but he'll be happy with one here too because we're. This is really when we start talking about odd ends and even ends. And you, you know, you think you score in the eighth, they score in the ninth, you score in the tenth is what you're looking at. So, really important end to score in. <coughs> And again, the tightness of the game is uh, another indication of why I'm in favor of the 10 end game because if it were uh, if it were only eight ends, a lot of people might be tuning out or might have tuned out uh, at the fifth end break. What have we got? One, two, three, four guards now. So definitely uh, in, 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 in favor of um, Andrew. That steal, again, a bit of a momentum shift. And, Absolutely. And that's where the mental toughness comes in. And I'm sh I would think that 
um, both, if not one of the teams, would be working with a sports psychologist and talk about how you how you deal with uh, you know an unexpected uh, shift. And right now, it doesn't look like um, Smith's team is uh, mentally dealing appropriately. Yeah, no, and then a great shot there for uh, Steve Trickett as he uh, promoted his blue back into. Eight foot would have probably rather it went back to the four, but they certainly have, uh, uh, they've got something happening here now. So now uh, Zach Young will be asked to uh, to blast whatever he can out of there. It might be a lot of granite moving here in a minute. Come down and let's watch. There's the one blue off that leaves it straight stuck there. So, uh, no big advantage there for uh, for Team Smith. Now a chance for Andrew Simmons to uh, to come around the works or would put up another guard. Okay, he's going to pop to draw around the, uh, the 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 far yellow one, or was it a guard? Laura probably was a guard. Yes, I believe so. Okay, I thought that was a. A bit aggressive to come around that one. You could come around your own blue. So just a guard. And now you see exactly what Laura was talking about. He's up there. He's got his broom right where he wants it. That gives the sweepers a really good visual on uh, how far to sweep and how much to curl. He didn't want this to be, this is in a gray spot. He didn't want it to be any closer because that makes the run back easier. So now you got more space with the, uh, the run back. So... <clears throat> Zach just made this, or made the same shot, so I expect this will be fairly close to taking the two blues. That was not Zach's best throw. Kind of threw it out a bit, didn't he? Yeah. Close there, made a big move. One, two, three. Oh, he got got them all. You don't have to look good. <laughs> as long as you let it go on the, on the broom. Now, well done, Zach Young. Takes off a lot, but it does leave the, uh, the center guard and actually a chance for... Uh, for Simmons to get this in even better than uh, what that that blue one was, the uh, <clears throat> the thing I do see is that that yellow just outside the SP of specialists is actually in the house, and that's a that's a big spot because if Simmons ever does get a chance to make some type of a hit, that could be a two instead of a, a force to one. Now it looks like uh, looks like Collins picked up on something there. That that didn't look like a natural move to me, uh, Laura. That that. No, and neither does his reaction. No. Yeah, I think yeah. that was unfortunately uh, the the rock picked up a bit of debris or something and made a quick move. Yeah. So that uh, that hands it back again to the Smith, passing around the advantages here. <clears throat> Still guards, though, even though it was an unfortunate, we'll say, pick. There's yep. still four guards up there. And yeah, and that's probably, I think, why uh, uh, Greg didn't go up and start peeling, because he can't get rid of four of them. So yeah. he, he'll be the aggressor now, and, and you'll see him dig in, try to curl this. It looks like it's in pretty good shape to promote that yellow. Wait to see. There you go. He gets it back to the, just to the top of the four. Nice one. So Simmons now can, he's looking at the hole, this, but I don't know that, I can't see that being there. I think he's got to come around that, uh, the really high blue. No, he's trying it. He's trying the hole. Man, that, that's what I, I call curling against the grain there, where <laughs> the high one is, uh, is, is your enemy. You got to get by that and... I think Eddie Wiernick said it, didn't he? When you get by the top one, sweep the piss out of it. But <laughs> it is, uh, I don't, I can't see that hole being there. Here it is. Okay. So it's, oh my goodness, this was making a big move. And yeah. this isn't looking real good for Colin here either as he takes the guard and then guards up to yellow. And yellow now lying too. And uh, he's putting a guard on them. And he's, 
don't know if he totally took it away, but that that blue draw around on the uh, that that outturn side now is is tough too. Intern for you, Laura. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this is the guard for Greg Smith uh, in pretty good position here now with Last Rock up one in the eighth end. It's funny, going into the seventh before we uh, took our little break, I noticed even though um, Smith, or sorry, even though Simmons stole, uh, I noticed him kind of gently bang his broom. I don't want to call it a bang, but kind of slump and... and mm. Get yeah. his broom off the yeah. off the ice and just kind of the shoulders shrugged and you can see it on the team they're very much in it they're only down by one yeah. um but you can just kind of see in their posture um you know drum, broom dragging on the ice yeah. um heads down a lot it's not um yeah they, they haven't got that the control alt delete that you need to yeah. you know when, when they miss the draw for two well that's gone you know that's that's gone you just picked up one and you should be zipping up and down the ice i mean if uh, uh i'm going way back here but if if you were playing against neil young and uh you, they just stole one you knew it <laughs> you knew that they had the momentum because he was he was back in the hack and and you knew you were you were back in the game so this is the uh, the the draw around that uh, the short blue. They know it moves there, so it's all about the weight. Now you see him jump on it, and they got to keep it straight. If this gets by, depending on his weight, this will bury. Oh, comes by with a lot of speed. Uh, he stops, but not sure. See if Greg taps one for us to tell us who shot. I'm going to go blue. Okay, yeah. And uh, can't quite see it. Chris is there. We... Take a look if we go. No, okay. Hey, Greg Cullen. Time out for Greg Smith here. As they discuss now, if uh, Chris will move for us, we'll get a better look at... Uh, the boys are looking at it now. See if anybody points at anything. Nope. And so Leslie Ann Walsh, of course, is Greg's uh, yes. Greg's coach, and Dave Noftel is coach of the Simmons team. Yeah, Leslie Ann spends uh, a lot of time just uh, everybody from the, the very little juniors to the after-school crowd to his her women's league or learn to curl, coaching about 10 teams. She really puts her time in here. So big shout out to Leslie Ann and of course, Dave Noftel, uh, good friends with uh, the, the boys. And uh, I just played Dave uh, two weeks uh, last uh, week and a half ago in Cornerbrook in the senior provincials. So Dave, of course, spending a lot of time down here too. So Chris still hasn't given us a chance to there to see there's the blue. So it does definitely look like it's the it's the blue rock. Yeah. So the call seems to be is it a promotion there, Laura? I can't tell what Greg is. Is he just trying to come by that? one on the top of the 12 and skinny his or is he actually trying to get to the one on the top of the 12 with a double raise i have no idea no this is yeah <laughs> and and chris doesn't give us the uh, with this ice I, i'm thinking he's looking at a double raise but yeah it's definitely too little ice he, for... he would have to come by that guard really tight yeah. but it seems to think that there's enough there so here we go Craig Smith his first rock here in the eighth end he's up one with he's got to work hard to get this by that top guard first if he gets by the top we'll find out if there's enough curl and he comes close he's no he wicks that guard so and how far not gonna matter that much how far he rolls but so now I guess you'll get uh, you, you'll have him do that again and uh, Andrew probably come right back to his uh, 
<laughs> I like saying that. I like saying to normally uh, um, Colin, of course, is is the third, and he discusses it with uh, with Andrew. You just saw Alex Smith say, "Colin, go on, go on. We, we got this. You get up there, because we can't be running out of time here." Yeah, it's it's the same shot. That's that's what he's got to do. And it, if he comes right into the top of the floor, he's he's looking good for a, a steal of one or two. So big, big shot here. Big, like say, big momentum change in the seven, and this is their chance. We'll... Uh, update the other three games now when we get back after the eighth there's uh, not a whole lot changing around the uh, the sheets big shot here now so they got to keep this out and uh, get around that guard close this looks to me like it's got a little more line a bit or better line than the last one Collins calling out that it's heavy so now they'll get but now Steven's they got to get in and bend it now that I mean Trickett should be in front there and now he changes Makes the big curl if he gets second shot. Yeah, it's a beauty. He, he did. He got, yes, yeah, so absolutely perfect shot there for uh, Andrew Simmons. This is, uh, this makes it very tricky on, on Greg Smith here. I don't know where the one is. So he's playing the same type of shot that he just played, but he wants the yellow next to Chris there to come back onto the blue and I think even then he's got to roll in yeah very very hard shot so two great shots there for Simmons I mean he whatever whatever he did he maybe got spidey but he uh, <laughs> he made those two uh, made that very difficult for Greg they gave him different rocks <laughs> they, they probably changed his rocks I think they were they seem to be perfectly matched yeah so here we go. This is a huge shot. This is Greg Smith, last rock in the eighth end. He's up one, but they are looking at two on him right now. The guys are sweeping this hard to try to get it by. If it gets by really close, he'll have a shot at it. Coming by the guard really close. It looks like he's got a, he's going to raise it, but has he got enough weight to? I think he did. He, he may, well, he, yeah, well. He got a one, I think. Yeah. I mean, sorry, he got one, but it looks got like Andrew one, Simmons yeah. has definitely stolen a one. Yeah, they moved the rocks out of play. So there you go. Simmons now with an absolutely huge steal in eight. So it's five to five after eight ends of play. Here in the uh, St. John's, uh, the, the Newfoundland men's provincial curling and uh, that's a that's a big change there. So we are going to take a minute and we're going to come back with an exciting ninth end. Welcome back. Um, on top of this one being uh, extremely close now, as close as it can get and exciting, there's some big stuff happening on the other sheets. So right now you've got uh, Dylan Hancock is uh, 
up five to four on uh, Nathan Young, but uh, Nathan has last round. That's after seven. <clears throat> but the big change, uh, Ryan McNeil's lamb, McNeil Lambswood this time, I'm, I'm not wrong. I know what colors they're throwing. They picked up a three in six and stole a two in seven and have actually gone ahead of Trent's gains now, five to four. And that's after seven ends of play. And uh, <clears throat> a couple of big ends for Harold Walters uh, on Dave Thomas. So he had, he picked up a three and then he stole a couple. So he's up eight to four now after seven ends. So we got some uh, some good games there and a couple of good comebacks there. And the, the, the best of the comebacks was definitely on this, uh, this sheet. So we've got a 5-5 five, five tie after eight ends and uh, Laura playing nine now and there's some guards in play again. Yeah, and if uh, if you're able to rewind, um, you'll go back to the eighth end. I'm pretty sure I said there was uh, misses, two misses from uh, Smith's lead, and uh, you see the result there. It almost gave up a steal of two. We've got another what I would say is a miss by um, Zach, uh, where he's just top 12, which again is ultimately another guard for Alex Smith. He, he wanted that. Um, Greg wanted that. Uh, tighter and ultimately to probably be his um, scoring rock. So really, we've got four guards up again. Yeah, he snuck that one around, but uh, still, as you say, it's still really only the top of the 12 foot. So there's there's room for uh, <clears throat> room for Andrew to get around. And if you're going to expect nerves, it's probably going to be from uh, from Zach. Uh, Zach Skirloff, Sherloff? Yes. Right. I'm going to talk to him in person and ask because I feel horrible that I'm massacring his name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's he's the you know the new guy in town and probably never played in uh, at at this level before. Um, so I I would I would expect his team to try and rally around him because this is a lot of pressure. For sure. Yeah. And uh, there's you know there's a, a an expectation with Greg. I mean. The, you know, they, they've played, I think, seven spiels this year or something. They've been out of town a lot. They, they you know, they want to be in a final of this. And, and to see these, uh, see this comeback, uh, I mean, to be up five to one, you know, at, at uh, recess. I mean, that's that's a big change, five to five now with only two ends left. I mean, technically, you got uh, Simmons in the driving seat, really. I mean, if he ever just gives up a one. So there's a timeout here called by uh, Team Simmons, and you see uh, uh, Dave Noftel down chatting with him and seeing uh, seeing what the options are. I mean, there's there's come arounds on either side. So we'll see what they decide. Um, and the blank is def basically off because of those what I would say misses from um, from Smith's team. Right. Uh, there, you know, the double peel. There there is no double peel anymore. Right. And they would have loved to take Hammer into the into the last. Tent. Yeah. So I mean, so what you know, what's Simmons thinking? Is he thinking here steal, or is he thinking forced to one? I mean, either would be good for him, but it's the you know it's the idea of coming home down one with with Hammer, and you feel like you got a good shot at it. So let's see what the decision is. Is the uh, See if he shows us now. I've never really known a strategy to force. I feel like that's a decision that's made later in the end. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's a decision that's made if this if the steel isn't working out. I think well, you got to play for yeah. it. This is this is an interesting call. This is to me this is a force call. He's, yeah. uh, he's he's playing to take out the, the yellow on the uh, the right side. He didn't throw very hard. Just wants expecting to stay there. this to curl now and uh, yeah he's gonna hit that and roll to the open side I not a fan of this call let's Greg get in there first yeah so you know this wide open rings uh, there, there, yeah there's no I mean yeah there's no doubt what Greg is doing so what is what is Simmons's next move I mean obviously he he took, you know, he, he took his, whatever, he took his rook. He knows he's going to be moving his queen in here, but what what's the next move? 
So one thing here, Zach, uh, Zach Young definitely doesn't want to do is go deep. You see the, uh, the sweepers back off it, which is an indication it's got a lot of weight. It certainly looks like it's got a lot of weight as they back off it. Now, Simmons has decided how far he wants to bring it back. At this point, you leave that. Yeah, pretty so, big mess. There's your, there's your chance now to, to get one in. Do you feel some nerves tightening up here, Rob? I'm a little nervous, yeah. <laughs> oh, then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. No, you, you can feel it. And like I said, this is the second game. Now, by the way, they're both both the teams won their games today. I think they're both 1-0. So this is, you know, only the second draw. But it, as we said right from the start, this is a big game. So this is uh, Stephen Trickett now, and it looks like he's got pretty nice line coming over the hog line. Now really important here to get this buried. Yeah, it's, it's very nice, but it is uh, because that guard is so long. This is it, it's even though you can only see a a small quarter of it from the hack, it, it's pretty much wide open. Yeah, you don't have to sneak by that guard to take this out. So the big thing here is now if he hits and rolls to the side, you know there's going to be a lot of yellow. This is a. Uh, this looks like uh, Andrew Simmons is going to push them all in here. <clears throat> Which, if he was going to do, I he again, I wouldn't don't, have made that. Why did he that last hit? Shot, yeah. He had a bunch of things yeah. to come around. <clears throat> so they're sweeping this to curl it. Looks like he might be able to take that and maybe even hmm. save it over on the other one. And it does make that, but the other blue that he hit jammed. But it still looks like yellow is one, two, and three. Yeah. So decision time. Here's here's where he he has to make the decision. He can't he can't give up a three. I mean, even two is 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 ugly. But so <clears throat> does he come in? He's no choice. Saying there, push them all in. Here we go. We are down to. It's, it's only Collins' first shot, so there's a lot of rocks left. Uh, even though there's a whole bunch of yellows around, uh, that center guard is, is, is all Andrew's advantage. Now, if he buries it perfectly, would you see Smith come up and start to try to run something and open a path? So this looks like it's got a lot more line than uh, than Trickett's had. So he's going to, looks like he's going to go all the way back, <coughs> excuse me, to the yellow and actually left it open a little bit. Uh, Greg, did didn't, you see that? He didn't even think about it. <laughs> Straight draw. Yeah. Okay. Take it, yeah, okay, yeah, so you get in here now. Again, most important here for Chris Ford is don't be heavy. This looks like it's steaming to me again. I'm way up here, but he really doesn't want to be behind that D-line. <coughs> and he's going to be. Yeah. They're, yeah, there's, this is, uh, uh, they're just handing it back and forth here. Now, Simmons is saying, I want to stay up there instead of coming back. At this point, I kind of like coming back to that. Absolutely. Yeah, and start is that, cutting stuff out. Yeah. Is that what he said, though? I couldn't quite see. He, he, he pointed up front first to the top four, but uh, I think his last call was to come back to the back. So. We'll see. He'll put his broom down now once it's there. Yeah, he's so he's sort of showing that I want it back here. And it, it makes a ton of sense right now. This looks like it's got pretty good line coming over the hog. It's uh, nice weight. They got to get. Uh, I think they got to get right back to it now. To, oh yeah. Alex is working it. <laughs> Much as Alex can work it. <laughs> Alex, of course, uh, 
played in the seniors last year. Yeah, or what, this past year. So he won seniors last year with Mark. He's played a couple of seniors. He's been in Briars and been in some juniors. He's been around. Alex Smith. So great shot there. Um, now if you you freeze, you're forcing yourself to a one, but I don't know what else you got. Which is exactly what Greg's arm up in the air meant, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Alex actually lived in New Brunswick for uh, a stint, and he was um, one of the officials at my last junior national, which was oh, in really? uh, wow. Moncton. It, it was also the last um, uh, appearance by Sandra Schmerler. Uh, she commentated the final of that uh, that event. Very nice. Wow. Sandra will talk more about Sandra, I'm sure, now once the Scotty starts and her foundation. And then, yeah, good, uh, just a, a, a sad story, but a great story with her, her foundation. This looks like he's just going to try to peel this out of there. This is going to be really close to that guard. If he puts this out at all, he could miss it. I guess the, the pro side is to take that top one. Right out of his hand, they, they got on it. So this is going to be really close to that front. <clears throat> if it gets by, it gets by now. He should be able to pick it pretty easily. Yeah, great throw. What a great throw. That's, a, that's, that's precision for you now. Okay, Andrew got to put it right back on. Now the... Uh, now we come back to the the handle and the release, as you were talking about, Laura. I mean, they know the exact dice for Collins sort of spinny handle. Now does 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 uh, Andrew's sort of little bit lazier handle curl the same? And I've said many, many times. Uh, I think that's uh, the biggest gift that your brother gave to Brad Guju early in his career is that he had uh, three players ahead of him who threw exactly like him. The same handles, yeah. And it yeah. took the ice reading, made ice reading so much more simple on him, and especially mm -hmm. at the junior level, that's probably the hardest part of the game. And uh, yeah, I think it was a huge part of his early success. So just because I know we haven't mentioned it very often, and my brother would be Jeff Thomas. I'm Rob Thomas up in the booth here with uh, Laura Strong. And uh, yeah, Jeff was a big part of a lot of teams. Again, we mentioned Leslie Ann. Jeff is certainly on the male side, uh, the, the, the coach of the decade. He's, he's coached a lot of teams and uh, Brad Kuju being one of them. So here we go with uh, Andrew Simmons. It looks like he's got a little more weight than Colin, but uh, I mean, as long as he gets dead on that back one, he's going to be fine. Doesn't want to over curl. <clears throat> oh, he's, he's buried that That's perfectly. Right. Yeah. He's not chipping this one out. No, this so, is a, yeah, this a is, yeah, <laughs> right yeah this is a hundred percent. I won't say a hundred percent, not with, with, with Greg, but so this will be a, back 12 foot perfect weight sort of to, to, to move it there's still two rocks left yeah yeah gives me a chance to say one more thing about uh jeff thomas is a good friend of mine joy osmond asked me for a little help uh with her delivery and i i gave her a little bit of help and she's been working with uh with jeff um now for quite a while and uh i've told her i didn't dream she'd be able to throw as well as she does <laughs> uh good. he's able to work magic and uh, if she were here now she'd give me a punch in the arm but yeah. um she's definitely <laughs> a good I did advertisement it, I did it for you joy yeah. yes yeah. okay here we go smith his, his uh, first rock here, he's trying to come by that guard really tight. And if he gets by it tight, he can make that uh, make that other one move. But, uh, oh, they tick there. So he leaves the guard in play. And that yellow is not going to make a whole lot of difference there now. That's not Well, it could make it for an in-off for him. Yeah. yeah. So it was the, when, when you miss the shot, I really like what... Uh, uh, Chris Ford did there. He made sure after the miss that he put a rock somewhere in play that uh, can be used with Craig's last one if he needs it. So now I didn't see the call. I don't know is uh, is he coming right down to it? I assume he is. He could be playing a straight guard, but uh, I would be because uh, yeah, being because... getting one is almost like being forced. <laughs> right. Right. Yep. Agreed. So this will be a, a repeat of his last shot. He needs to be full four and ideally frozen to the one he just threw. 
gets out. You kind of like that as a skip. You just threw it, throw it again. Andrew Simmons, last rock in the ninth. They were hard on this out of his hand. Right away. He's got, uh, still looks like the line is there if they work it. I don't know if he's got the weight. We'll see. They got to get by that guard first. That's the first thing. Gets by the, he don't has, doesn't have the weight. Okay, so he uh, chipped over and, and, and the draw is tough. So this is what I was talking about with Chris Ford. He made sure that that miss that Greg threw, at least there's now a double. He's not even, Greg's not even looking at it. He's just, I'm throwing it. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. There might be a draw and that's what he's, that's what Chris is looking for. But nope, this is what Greg wants to throw. I... And if he makes it, no, it's, it, yeah, it's for two. I love Greg's yeah. odds of making this. The only one little thing is I don't think we've seen a single inside out hit the whole game. Right. But otherwise, I really like his odds. Here it comes. Okay, they got a, you see, working hard on the straight side here. It's close. Oh. He's going to make contact, good contact, but it's going to, no, it's going to roll across the top. And the steel train continues. And I it's, would say he probably threw that perfectly. It was just a bit of a guess where to put yeah, the Yeah, yeah. As you said, we haven't seen that side or that turn. So, or the, yeah. So there's another steal for Andrew Simmons, and uh, so now that puts him uh, up up one. So up six to five now. After nine ends of play, we're going to come back in the tenth. Uh, Craig Smith is going to have last rock in the last end, down one point. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, and we're going to watch the uh, <clears throat> the entirety of the 10th end here now. So, Andrew Simmons <clears throat> takes two in the six, steals one in seven, steals one in eight, and steals one in nine, and is up six to five now on Greg Smith. Greg has last rock. This is Simmons' first rock with, uh, I know who that is, Alex Smith, throwing now, and he's asked him to come right into the forefoot. Uh, knowing full well that Greg will put up a corner guard. Rob, that last end opened with me saying about uh, Smith's lead rocks that they were misses. Right. And another steal. And another steal. Mm. Just goes to show how important those lead rocks are, and I know it all too well because last year I begrudgingly played lead and was dreadful, and... <laughs> Uh, my team tried to fight through it, but, uh, yeah, no, every time I knew if I made my rocks, we were in good shape right off the bat. Yeah. And if I didn't, I knew we were really fighting to get through the end. Wow. Yep, absolutely. And, uh, that's, um, can't, can't say it enough. And the lead is, you know, as, 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 or more important as anybody on the sheet. And now this is a, uh, now they'll have, uh, Alex, I think he, th he'll he want this really close to the rings, but he wants to cover his own. Uh, he can't, obviously, because of the free guard zone, he can't touch uh, Greg Smith's. And you might see you might see Greg put up a second guard, but at this point he only needs two. So he may try to come around now and, and force it a bit here. He's going to come around his own. <clears throat> this is a uh, good standard call, trying to get a two. Again, you can see that uh, Zach uh, Shirtliff is in the hack and ready to play. So I'd love to know the time down there, but hmm. there can't be a whole lot of time left. 
So they're sweeping to get it by. It looks like it's got a ton of room to come by. Now you can see Zach uh, Young trying to curl it because they do want to get around. It's around, but I got a feeling that's open. Yeah. Let's see what the, yep, the call is to hit and roll over. Yeah, it didn't even have to be in, really. It just had to be buried. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And this is Stephen Trickett. Looks like he's going to come by nice. Looks like the... Uh, yeah, the perfect uh, hit and roll there for uh, Stephen. So you can uh, you can feel now that uh, that Simmons has got a bit of a bit more of a momentum. But uh, last rock belongs to Alex Smith, or sorry, Greg Smith, and uh, he needs a two, needs a one for the extra end, needs a two to win it. Now he's calling. Uh, this is Zach Young in the heck, and I think he's called. Did he call a freeze on this? Uh, or a tap back, Laura? I got to admit, I missed it. Okay, it looks like the weight he wants to either freeze him. Now you can hear Greg is calling sweep. This is really cutting hard on him. He won't be too upset if he... T oh, yes, but he's not allowed to touch the guard, is he? Oh, it's five rocks? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, five rocks blade, sorry. So... Still, though, it's clogging up his you know, a lot of guards uh, in play in. there now, and uh, Simmons is going to throw another one up there. <clears throat> Quick shout out. I just got a, a nice uh, text from my nephew, so I know that uh, Mitchell and probably Alex are watching there up in Halifax. Hey, guys, this certainly has been an exciting game. Uh, I said to Laura, I, I may have turned it off after five. Uh, being up five to one, but whoever did, they're missing a good one. So we're going to be watching this one till the end. So that's where uh, that's where Andrew wanted it. So now he's got to deal with a bunch of guards, or does he change his mind? No, oh, he's going He's calling the yellow in. He's calling the yellow, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so he's... Uh, <clears throat> interesting, Laura. I mean, he's leaving the two on the center line, but uh, I guess if, he's, if he makes this perfect, well... So Zach is trying to run the yellow back into the two blues. Just dusting it, trying to keep it. Now you see Zach get on it to try to oh. curl it a bit. Makes good contact. Oh, oh and misses the two back ones. So two center guards and two two center and two in court. there. So now he can. I, I like that. Yeah. Now he's he's saying tap that one and let's let's get right to the button and close the house off completely. This is getting dangerous for Greg Smith right now. It is. There's nice angles on those those yellows on the on the right hand side. Um, you might see that come into play. Yeah, late. Not what you'd really Not want. Not what you want. No, <laughs> that's for sure. Now, yeah, those, <clears throat> those center guards are really what's. Yeah. Uh, so this is Colin cool. Thomas. Now he's uh, trying to come in and just tap that. It's got a. Looks like he got a ton of line. Although they're still sweeping it, maybe they're sweeping for weight now. So they want to keep this as busting off that line now. So he's getting in there. I don't know that he'll have the weight to, uh, oh, he won't get to him. But uh, everything is well covered now. And it also took away the yellow, yellow angle I was just talking about. Oh, yes, it did, yeah. So now he's got to try to come, okay, you'll see him. He'll say come across that blue one. Try to send the blue back, and anything you get back there is a bonus. But let's get those off the center line and try to give the skipper a last rock here. Because right now he just hasn't got anything. Chris Ford with his first here in the 10th, trying to clean something up. 
is really close as he comes over. Nice shot. He gets the one, he gets the back, and does he touch something out there? Yes. That's a great shot. That's a good shot. So now you got nothing up front, and, and now there's a, a hope and a prayer. Now he's going to gonna guard it up again. And, uh, I mean, as long as they're throwing guards, they're okay. So it's got one, uh, the one that's on the top of the eight foot. So right now, Smith would have to get uh, pieces of four with his last. But at least now he's got a root in there. So he's feeling a little better about it. <clears throat> Alan now will try to block this up again. Okay, Colin got outside on this one a little bit. He's going to need a lot of curl. But as it slows, it, it usually curls pretty good. Simmons going up now to uh, help it curl a bit. Got to work that hard. Help it that much. Uh, he doesn't quite <laughs> did, get it to the center. He did walk he, more than I thought. He covers, yeah, he covers three quarters yeah. of it now. Did I see him call a draw there? Greg Smith calling a draw to the back of the four. He's uh, he's calling for the win there for sure. Time out for Greg. Interesting time. What do you see, Laura? Three rocks to come. Well, first you have to decide how badly you want the two. The two. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it's the one, you just peel. We're just we're uh, we're just sort of looking at it with you there, uh, fans and. You make your call. Um, good point by by Laura here. I mean, if you really want two, I guess you come around. But they still have to get two in closer than that. Uh, that one on the tickle on the forefoot there. But uh, Greg seems adamant. He wants to get in there one way or the other. There's, there's you can just see the back of uh, Leslie Ann's head there. You tap that wide yellow to be second shot. The wide blue? No, the yellow guard, like where the anchor is. Okay. Can you tap that into the eight foot? Not sure that gets you anything, though. So just thinking it, for your second it seems point. that... Uh, he, he got what he wants. He wants to come around to the back of the four. I, I'm, you know, I mean, he has to be. He wants to be shot, obviously, and get a corner around. So it's it's getting down to nerve time now. This is Chris Ford's uh, second rock here in the tenth end. Uh, Smith down one, but has last rock, and it looks like he's decided he wants to try to get the two here. Okay, sweepers watch it. <clears throat> Looks like it's got good line as it comes down. It's all for the sweepers now. And uh, we do know it breaks hard on this side. There's no doubt about that. And I mean, obviously, the first thing they got to do is get by not so much the first one, but the second one. No, wait, it's not there. Don't know that he hasn't got the weight. Not a terrible leave, though. No, no, you're right. He's second shot, but he's got a little raise there. And it's too risky for um, Simmons to try and remove he, he it. He can't chip that. No, he's. I, I think at this point he's got to guard that up and, and you know. Greg is so dangerous. I mean, it seems like a simple call, but they've got to kind of line up every which way to see if there's any way he can. Uh, they rock positioning now. I mean, <clears throat> right there where, where Andrew got his broom. But if you're too high or too deep, well, you, you're, you're going to cause problems. But uh, it's going to be really important that they put this rock exactly where they, they need it. Uh, you can't touch that now. I think what... Uh, 
what Andrew was saying there is he's got that in, but give him that all day. I think this is your only shot right there. Mm -hmm. and, and what does Greg do? He can't, he can't see the one on the forefoot from the intern side. So I, I don't know what, what, what Greg Smith would have. If, if he leaves it up too high, I guess Greg comes around it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he can still get his two. I think that's yeah. what they're worried about. Yeah. He's got mm. four feet to work with to get two points. And two rocks so the call to is Simmons to come one. right into the forefoot for him now. Mm -hmm. He wants to come around that yellow. And, yeah, and when you look at it, because if you do leave it anywhere up front, Greg is going to use it, come around it. There's no doubt. Yep. Yeah. We got some incredible games going, which is why Andrew's getting ready. There, we're all coming now. The one, the one, Harold Walters has beaten Dave Thomas and has his first win, but all three other games are, are two, two of the games are coming home tied, and this one, of course, coming home with uh, Simmons up one. Here we go with uh, Andrew Simmons, first rock tenth, and trying to. Okay, now I see. Alex has gone out to yeah. the front, so this is a guard. I would assume it has to be very tight. Because I don't think it matters where it stops. I think you're going to see uh, Greg come around it. Absolutely. So that might be a little too high for my liking. Uh, I think uh, that gives Greg a better chance to get into the four with, with a bit more cover than he would have had if that rock wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. So th I think that had to be three or four feet more. I'm surprised he played that. And didn't, yeah. I, uh, I thought there when in. they, when, when I saw him going down, I thought they were playing around to the back of the, uh, the four foot, but which, which would have been better for a, for a, a force, but <laughs> Okay, Greg Smith, first rock in the 10th, down one, but has hammer. Very delicate draw here, but he can get around everything to the forefoot. Boys are on it out of his hand. They're on it for weight, or they're off and on, so it's a good sign, and we know it breaks here, but has it got Greg too much is weight? not happy with the sweeping. It's hard to blame him. Coming down. No, that's going to be. Oh, boy. And that was swept hard for the first 10 or 12 feet. It was, yeah. Now, now, Simmons. <laughs> you got to be careful here. You set it up in the wrong place. And he got that little raise tap tap and he gets a two. So this is going to be. A... Yeah, there it is there, Alex. I think if he puts it there now, I don't think. Although if you put it too close, Greg would definitely run the blue into the yellow. Mm -hmm. We do have one final. It looks like Nathan Young has stole the 10th end to beat uh, Dylan Hancock in the, uh, the, the game on Ice 3, the other game that was being streamed. So another exciting game over there with a steal to win. So Simmons has called this to come around to the back of the four. Mm -hmm. Well, to the top of the four, I guess. Yeah. yeah. We got two rocks to come or 18. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. So Simmons now <clears throat> doesn't want to be deep, obviously, to give uh, Smith an easy shot. Looks like he's got great line on this. It, it looks like it's well out there, but it should break hard. All about weight now. Stephen Trickett now has got the rock in his hand. He's got to curl it by. <clears throat> Doesn't want to be deep. Doesn't want to be to give him a hit. Perfect. That is just about the perfect spot. I uh, wow. I'd like to know how much time Greg got down there, but <clears throat> this is uh, what an ex exciting finish. What uh, this will be a comeback like. <laughs> I've just never seen the six, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah. They, they picked up two in the six, 
So, I mean, for anybody just joining in, if you can't see the scoreboard, I know, but it's it was uh, five to one for Greg Smith after five ends. Simmons came out with a two in the sixth, stole one in the seventh, stole one in the eighth, stole one in the ninth, and looking really good to steal the game here. Greg wants the intern draw. Intern draw, just try to get a yeah piece of the four. This, so he'd have to be fairly close to that second yellow guard up up top, but I think there's room. He can tickle the blue. He can't, he, you know, but he, he can't hit it very hard. I think every single draw this end has been on the other side of the sheet, has it not? It has been again, and you know yeah. what? That's what happened to him the last end. Yeah. He had to throw one in a. In, in not the regular place. <clears throat> so here we go. Last rock. Trying for the tie. Greg Smith. It's in the hands of the sweepers. He needs to get full four. He's got to get by the one up top. They got to... They don't seem to be worried about the weight. To me, it doesn't look like it's... It does not. 15, he's working hard. They 15, got him. Seven. He's gonna get by the guard. I don't know if he has the weight to get there. No. He doesn't. This is game over for Wow. There we go. Andrew Simmons takes charge after the fifth end with steals in, in the seventh, eighth, ninth, and the tenth to win the game. The score, I think he got another two. So I mean it'll show as eight to five, but the bottom line is that is one. Uh, big comeback and that's got a really big big for their uh, their team going forward so make the as their friend Vic would say make the final eight to five and that's a two and one record now for uh, Andrew Simmons and uh, one and one now for Greg Smith it's a long week we're gonna be back uh, in action 10 o'clock tomorrow morning please join in thank you everybody for watching uh, this has been uh, the men's provincials in Newfoundland and Labrador Laura strong and rob thomas we look forward to uh, broadcasting again in a game very soon thank you good night